Great greetings, people of the sky, and welcome to a special stream. We are having a PvP tournament. We're having a PvP tomb tournament today. Um, I have to do some preparations here on the site, so I'm not 100% ready here, but I think we are in a good timeline. Booster opening will begin in five minutes. That means we have a short moment to go over the rules. So let me bring them up for a second and we scroll over them. So if you're not sure what's going on, we are doing a tomb tournament. It's the battle of tactics number seven. It's not even my final form. And the gist of it, players will get boosters and have to make a deck out of the things they get out of the booster so if you are lucky you could get a good tier one and if you have not a good luck you will end up with a lot of tier four units and have to figure out how to play pvp with tier four units there are three special things first of all the boosters will be visible publicly so we will look at this page in a second and see what cards are in the collective we have a total of 104 boosters to open in the first iteration. And yeah, everyone can see that. The second one, after every match, there will be more boosters. We all start with eight general boosters. And after the first round, it's getting a fire and a twilight. And second is nature and stonekin. Then frost and lost souls. The shadow and bandit and army and fire frost booster. And, and I think that's a nice thing, there will be no duplicates, so you cannot get a eruption from every booster and you end up with eight eruptions, but you only need one of them. So I think that is very helpful. Everything will be managed on the website. Um, you can find the link by just typing in tomb in the chat and you'll find the link to this page and everyone can look at this page and also get the filter code. So we can, we can check in-game which cards are in the pool. And the tournament rules, sadly, we have to um, change that. We are now on the test server. So for everyone in the event, please be sure to go on the test server. So you have access to all cards. There was another plan. Plans has been changed. We are now on the test server. You can start this by using the start, battleforge, dev, dot batch file in the battleforge directory then the terminal will be on the test server not the live server <laughs> yeah okay we, we, we skip this we are on the test server ignore this rule disconnect during the game results in a lost that's per usual if you're not showing up to your match then you will have a default loss after your match, go to Jolange and uh, insert your win or your lost. And the bracket will be refreshed automatically. The map pool will be Haladur, Simai, Alion, Lajesh, Uru and Urmia. And this is the order we are using them for um, the first round. So the first round will be on Haladur. The second bracket will be then on Simai and so on. The map's choice will be then for the losing player and the person who has to lock the deck first is decided by the coin flip with a slash roll one. And yeah, we are perfectly on cue. We start the stream and now players can start open the boosters in two minutes. So we are jumping over to the second screen in a second just let me check if everything is ready we have already player on the test server that is a good sign um so people found the way on the correct server let me check my direct messages this is also looking good yeah i think we are good to go just let me close some windows i have way too many windows open here Yes, we don't need you anymore, but we need you. 
Okay, so let us jump over here. We are ready to do the booster opening. So let me activate it for every player. Um, and let me check the clock. Three, two, one. Let's open some boosters. Okay. Oh, okay, the, the first booster is coming in. <laughs> We're having a Banzai Lord. Banzai Lord is not what you're looking for in a tomb tournament. We can make that a bit bigger. Ooh, double ice barrier. Soul Shatter. <laughs> a battleship. Oh, Frost Maze and Iria Ice Shield. Ooh, that's a nice combination. Still waiting for a really, really strong... Oh, the Spitfire! Okay, whoever gets the Spitfire, the man of the day. Let us scroll down and see what we missed here in the beginning. Um, a lot of tier 4. We have an Oink. Oink is not bad. Life Weaving could be a nice shadow start. Um, the Parasite Swarm, Double Dryad, okay, that's a bit sad, but at least the blue one, that is also a good nature start. Um, Nightcrawler, nice card too. Mm, Bandit Minefield, strong start if you go for bandits. Girl Power, yeah, the Ice one we have already saw, the Ravage, awesome start for sh um, Fire. Um... Home soil. Also nice. Another life weaving. <laughs> the quick quick. Mm. Mm. Maybe we will see him. He is not too bad in a tomb tournament. Let me have a sip here. There will be a long stream, so stay hydrated. Mm. Let me keep an eye on my messages. It's looking fine so far. Oh, we have a Rydia. <laughs> and Moloch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There was concern if people won't get a tier 1 unit from the 8 booster and actually yeah, that, that is possible. But I think so far it looks everyone got at least one tier 1 unit in most boosters. Maybe not their favorite, but at least one um, tier 1 unit. So we can check the bracket for a second here. I have already um, started. Did I press on start? Let me let me check. Launch, start, and it started. Okay. So yeah, this is the um, now the group phase of the event, and I have a lot of advertisement. I should have that odd blocker. Too late. Um. We have 13 players, uh, so there is one player not playing in the first round, which is a bit sad, but um, I want to give everyone who wanted to join the event the, the chance to play in the event. So if I see this correctly... Um, who is it? Yeah, I think Walter... Walt Hunter is not playing in the first round yet so sorry for you but you're pretty sure you are in the second round on semi in um the battle so we are sadly missing one player to have a nice split if you are now watching the stream and think hey i want to join maybe we can um, get you in the event last second so we have an even number here Let's check. There are no more boosters opened yet. Um, let me 
Oh, 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 more, be more, more boosters. Whoa, speedrun booster. So that about eight new boosters. Let me see what we have here. We have an aggressor. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, that's not an AI. That is just normal PvP tomb tournament. So people are playing here. I think the AI is by far not ready to do um, tomb action. Okay, more boosters have been opened. Let's see what we have here. Another area ice shield. Good fire card. Frenetic if you go up to tier 3. The moon. Oh yeah, the moon. Let's let's summon moon. Well, at least some tier of one units. I think the the chance to get no tier one unit in eight boosters is quite low. Not not zero, but low. The first matches will start in fifteen minutes. So if there are any questions, feel free to ask them um, in the chat or via direct message. Um, everyone should be on the same page here. I also... Is there a loser bracket? Um, we are playing Swiss. So... Oh, where is it written? Swiss. Okay. We are playing six round of Swiss system. So, there is no normal bracket we are playing six rounds here um or six matches six people play here and then in the next round you will be matched with someone of equal skill level so winners will get together and losers will get together and so on and so on so you will see this on this page here you can also go to the true launch site if you want, every link is here. Just jump over and you can check out how the bracket, or in this case, um, the score changes. As I said before, Walter, <laughs> Walter Hunter um, is an, in we have an uneven number of 13 and so he get an, yeah, an instant win in this case, get one point already. Um, but maybe if you are want to join, you can do so. I can't PvP to save my life. Yeah, okay. With hunters. <laughs> okay. You're absolutely right. I'm 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 king of butchering names. Um We call him Walt. Walt Hooter? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Let's see if some boosters have been opened. No new boosters so far. Um if we check the numbers here, it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm very bad with um, pronouncing names. So around the half of the player base have opened their boosters by this point. We have 10 more minutes um, uh, till the first matches will start. Uh, we can pick our first match we want to have on stream already. So we have Trix and Peppy. We have Baker Man and the Big Wet. Killbuster and Irius. Where I see my boosters. You see your boosters um, on this page. I sent you a link earlier and you can there click on open booster 
And as soon as you open your boosters, they will be yeah, shown. There's also this booster code here you can add to um, to a config file, but you probably had to check that before. No, you didn't. I did not send you a link. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Um. Let me just check my messages. <laughs> okay. Now there's also a bit of confusion with the test server. Let me check this for a second. Seems like a launch. Okay, um, we can also test something out. I have prepared something, but not actually tested it. So let me get this out of the screen. And if everything is working, um, it's not working. Okay, let me, give me a second here. Oh, 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 no, may, may, maybe now. Yeah, I think that's looking good. So we should have a live view of um, the matches in the left bottom corner. So if someone is finishing a map, we should be able to see this on our stream as well. Um, this is running. Let me check the time. We have nine more minutes before we have the first match. Okay, this is also ready. Let me get more windows out of the way and I check the messages again. Hello, Carolfax. Let's see if it's working now. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you. Give me a second. If you are writing the command correctly. Yeah, okay, you get your link to the bracket. And there should also be something else. Huh. Why is it not working? Give me a second here. We can jump over to another screen for that. Okay, here we have the brackets for the first um, match. And we have a double chat. Wait, that is too much chat. So that is one chat. Okay, this is looking good. Let me get something else fixed for a second. <laughs> Too many windows opened. One last test here. Yeah, okay. We should be now golden. Please refrain from posting links. What what did you try to post? I think my my mod is there a bit um my bot is there a bit tedious. All right, let me check the clock. Same link, but instead the D E to E N. Oh, 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 yeah, that's a good point. Well, I can fix that. 
Thank you for the input. Um, D E to E N. Safe. Nice one. Okay, I think we can get another look at the boosters and then find a match we want to watch. Um, boosters. We have nice fire cards and a good shadow start. Red Nomad with Enforcers, Life Weave, um, Search of Light, Lava Field. Ooh, maybe we see some Ma Fountain of Rebirth play. That could be possible. Master Archers. An Infect. Okay, whoever got that Infect in a Tomb Tournament is now pretty sad, I guess. Um, we have a Soul Stone. Same here. I think people would, would like to sell that thing. Oh, I think that's the first Forsaken. Forest Elder Green. Oh, we have some awesome Dreadnought. Holy crap. We we have some nice boosters here, but sadly, we play a test server and we don't open boosters on our real server. But there are a lot of nice prizes, actually, so we can jump over here. And as you can see, there are promo Rogan Kale and two of the turtles, as well as a lot of boosters, a lot of battle forge points. And every player is getting something. No one is going home alone. Um, give me a second. A promo in the random boosters. It could be possible that someone is drawing a promo card here. Um, we will see. We will see. Just let me check something. Um, people having some question here, so let me just answer. The first question is, how is the map decided? Let me just copy paste this thing here. Yes, that's the first bracket. I already have shuffled and released it. So you can find your opponent and get ready for your fight. In your case, Big Wet, you are fighting... Wreckman. All right, let us um, check the battle forge, um, the forge, and see if we can find. Oh, you had the last spunstone green. Um, yeah, that is a problem on my website, actually. Let me write that down, since I will forget this. I think it's the blue one. So, just go for the blue one. Um, so... Bandstone... Infinity fix. Already something to, to, to proceed in the future. All right, we have one more minute before the first uh, round will start. So let's figure out which match we want to view. Um, 
Irius and Killbuster need a, more, a second longer. I think maybe we can jump over to Carafax. I think I saw him on the server. Not sure if um, Cyviel is there as well. So let's see if we can find them. So we have Peppy, the Big Wet, Carafax. Are you already... Is... He is here? Yeah, okay. Um, invite to group. And the first round will be on Haladur. Ah, I like Haladur. You can go for the second round. Um, I think we can do some nice switching here because you won't f um, fl get kicked out of the game since it is six rounds for everyone. There's no lower bracket and so on. Six round, everyone having, uh, having a chance. Um, and we also can do a betting. So if you are interesting for a prediction, we can get this running. Give me a second. If I can type correctly. Netherlands still not, yeah. You can, you can do your prediction in your heart. So, winner between this and Carol Flax. And you have one minute. And we are doing the best of three. So, I want to know who is the winner of all three matches. Or two matches, if it's only two. Ready, steady, maybe kick you out and let's go. We also can have the live PvE running, give me a second. Oh, you can avoid, yeah, that's nice, that's nice. At least you can give your guess in one direction. So we are starting here. Samuel with a fire nomad and a nature nomad. Okay. Both taking the well. So far, nothing special. Fire Nomads getting the damage damage buff with um, enough Nomads around. And Nature getting the heal. Okay, Triple Nomad is out against a double will. Let's see if he can stack the damage. Ooh. Nomads are M counters, so... Okay, that's L unit. At least not getting the counter debuff. But not enough damage, maybe. Oh, he is... A body blocking from Carefax. That is... That is brutal. One power is getting kicked here. Is not getting kicked. Is getting kicked. But now the big question. Defending against the L unit here. He hasn't summoned anything else. So maybe there will be a second one. More slowing down. Carefax have archers here. Now taking the well. Even they are only M counters, they are strong. So if he is getting another block running, yeah, body blocking and killing probably now the L unit. In the meantime, it is bandit time over here. So if we have tier two against double power well, keep in mind, Cyvelia lost one power well. Um, so he is behind a bit of energy. 
Okay, M unit against triple M counter. That's... Yeah, that's not looking good. M archers. This is a good decision here. That is a nice trade. He has a... Carefax with a lot of M counters now. But now with tier 3... Fire into nature. So... We are playing... Ooh, what is this? A Morkley trap. Uh, will, will that get up? Probably not. Probably not. Um, others will play. So, I hope others will play. <laughs> so, if you're unsure, yes, you should play. In the meantime, we only watch one um, set of players live and after in the end everyone should be finished by the same time hopefully and maybe we can jump in one of the last matches and then everyone getting to the next phase of the event second stage that is not probably not enough to defend Sadly, power wall goes down. And uh, next is... Ooh! He has another nice M counter, actually. If the Ravager stacks up, they are brutal. They can shred through a lot of units. But now with the Archers... Carefax now... Oh, yeah. The annoying super range unit. Applesauce enemy is not there. Hmm. You can try to ping and to message. And we have in the rule set, he has 15 minutes to show up. Else you will get a free win. Which is a bit sad. I mean, people are joining the PvP event here for PvP action. But yeah, if he cannot show up looking for tricks I think tricks should be around let me just message someone Feel free to use the Discord where everyone is um, available. And and Apple Apple Soy, Soy is on the test server, so you should not able to be searching for him. Oh, oh sorry, now I get what you meant. Casting and doing chatting is too much. <laughs> Brackman is also not around. That's sad. I think I saw him online. Let me just type a bit. Um... So yeah, that one goes to Carefax. Now the map choice is for Saviel. Which map shall we go? Yeah, that would be nice because we have an uneven number of players. We probably can squeeze you still in there, but yeah, we are already in one one match. Um, maybe you can take the spot of another person if he's not showing up. So every round is best of three. That is correct. Best of three. So we are going for Uru. We are playing the big map.
the test server, it's quite easy. You have a link. Um, you have a test server batch file um, in the Battleforge folder. And you just have to click this. And whoops, you are on the test server. Let me just fix something here. Um, let's check. We have another double nomad start here. I uh, will chat something in the meantime. Guys, I posted how to start. Okay, we have a power well here and another power well here. Yes, exactly. The test launcher or the developer batch file thingy. And we're getting here now the first battle, probably. Let me just change a name here. J. Okay, triple nomads are out. Now we see if the triple fire nomad can have deal enough damage against the nature. Ooh. No. Nice micro. Saving one nomad. Saving mm, saving not two, saving only one. Ooh. Well, overall it was a win for Saviel. But, yeah, he has to retreat. Fighting into a power well. Mm, now another M counter. What are the rules? Um, you can check the rules in the forum. In short, it is a tomb tournament. That means you... Um, can build a deck or you have to build a deck with cards from a booster so you don't have every card to your um, use you like so probably Saviel would not start with a fire nomad he would like to start with another fire card like um, scavenger and yeah the special rules is that you can see the boost of every player there are no duplicates and after every set of rounds, there will be more boosters you can use in the event. Um, we, we can have a look at the booster overview after this match. Probably we'll have like five minutes. So everyone has finished the map. In the meantime, tier two. Probably is, he does not have too much tier one units around. So he is going for again a tier two. Carefax still on tier one with double wall well but three archers uh, they can be scary I mean M counter is strong Ooh, that will be hard Um, well, I can have a look if we can get you back into the game after this match, into the tournament boxing, so, yeah. Let, let me just do one thing after another for the moment. Let's focus on the stream here, um, which is looking pretty brutal. We have the gang up ability of the thugs, so they won't die that easily. Yeah, power wall falls. And orb is getting low on HP. Last tier 2 units are getting out. This is the moment where you really want to have a wildfire or lava field. It would shred through this tier 1 units. But enough of gang up. Ooh, maybe maybe he can kill these. Maybe that's enough to kill them. Oh, another thugs. 
just to buy some more time but not enough yeah can't push through and GG is called first match um, of the first set goes to Carofax let me um, finish the prediction here so Carofax wins the first set here all right let me see if i am able to add another player um lol why why, why is there no names <laughs> let me just restart the thingy there why why do we don't have names it worked yesterday. Um, Trix did not answer. Is he is he around? Looks like he is not online. Well, it's now 15 minutes, so that was a win for you. So if your opponent did not show up in time and you did, couldn't get a game running, you can get your free win. Um, not sure what's what's up with Trix. Normally he is around. He is sleeping. Couldn't fight Brackman either. He is online. That's that's weird. Um, <laughs> online, in-game, or Discord, hmm, yeah, that means free wins for the ones who waited the 15 minutes and didn't get an opponent, um, let me just restart something here, um, to launch, close, to launch, start, Hmm. Okay, so let's see if the next update is working correctly and jump over into to launch and check the current um, bracket. So, Applesauce is trying to find Mr. Delilov, but I think he is not around. Let me just check one more. Um, No, he's not even online. Mm, well, that is now my thing. Give me a second and I try to get you in the event. Um, I just have to find the correct window. I have too much open there. <laughs> the ads. Yeah, sorry. I think I pressed the wrong button there. Um, let me see. I cannot add participants anymore, right? Hmm. Yeah, you could play for another person, but you won't be able to be on stream there. How's the switch tiebreaker decided? Should be indicated. Avoiding. Uh, um, I have not these settings open at the moment, so I cannot um, tell you, but you should enter a correct result with not 0 0, but with a correct 
numbers. So let me check if someone um, has misclicked there. Um, group face. So yeah, in your case, you can type in two zero. I can edit this, give me a second. Yeah, I know what you mean, but um, it shouldn't make a difference in the end for Swiss. It's important that you won and we, we, we type in the two zero just to be sure. So we are waiting for Afro and the match of Mr. Dalinov on and Apple Soys and he is not around as far as I have heard. Oh, but the upgrade updates are now working. Um okay let 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 us get um gesture in then I have to type in the results so they have started the match okay Mr. Daniel Apple are you still interested in a fight then we change Mr. Lenov for Ethan. Okay. And I will find that fix. Mr. Lenov. Save. Message. Um, can you just message me, Jester? Um, on Discord, then I can send you the links. There you go. Everywhere are you, my name's. Oh, okay, then I should find you. Oh, I can't find you on the Skylots. What? Can, can you just message me on Discord? I think that is faster than... Um, yeah. Ethan, just a message, please. Not even finding you on the Skylots Reborn Discord channel. What? Okay. So let me just check something. Oh, oh, you delete. Oh, sorry. Delete is doing. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I think I can send you the link in a different way. I hope you can copy that from from here as well. Without Discord, it's a bit difficult to figure out um, and communicate in an event like this. So that would be helpful. That will be 
the last round of um, games, I guess. So let's jump in there. And I sent Asen the, the link. So you should be able to make a deck now. Um, let me just check the, the brackets. Since we are losing people from the planned matches, um, we could kick them out of the event, else another player will have to deal with the same problem we had now. Normally you, they fly out, but yeah. You need a tournament organizer? Yes, absolutely! Um, that was the plan to have tricks around, but um, as you can see, it didn't make it. <laughs> that was the plan all along. But lesson learned for the future, I guess. Let me just have a sip here, it's getting hot. Mm. So, yes, you open them on the site and then you can pick your cards from there. Oh, that's nice. Um, I will keep this in mind, but after stuff like this, I normally need a break from events like this so we'll take a moment before we do another pvp event let me just figure out which players are the um around maybe chat can help me here um which of the players made it to the event Um, just let me post that here so we can check this. So Simon was there. Okay. Afro is... Is, is Afro around? Afro is around. Yeah, Afro is around. They are in game. That is good. So we have Carafax and Sivian. They are also here. We saw their match. Mr. Dalinov, we have... He is not around. We changed his name. Yes. Afro, um, Mr. Linov is already um, renamed to Asen. And Applesauce is around. So we have Killbuster, who is not around. Correct? Irius didn't have the match he wanted to play since he was not there. Killbuster. Let me give a last ping. Um, same for Brackman, right? And same for Tricks. I give them a last ping, and if they are not around till the end of the match, we will throw them out of the bracket, so we don't have empty slots anymore. Okay, Asen is building his deck, and then we have a nice fight, I guess. We can, in the meantime, I, I, I want to say we can check out a deck, but that would be quite bad to 
a look at decks of other people in a PvP tournament, in a PvP tomb tournament, since, yeah, that is the choose and butter. In the meantime, I can make a new prediction. So if you are interested in to making a bet here for the winner of the game between, oh, I have to fix that. Give me a second. Um, four, oh, nine, five. I'm always interested. That is the spirit. And Apple. So, best of three. People, get your beds in and we figure out in one minute who is going to get uh, this win in their pocket. Okay, we have it's quite equal in the in the um in the gold. No clear winner here for from the fans. Bet on Battleforge points. Ooh, I think that would be a problem with EA. Um, I'm not sure, but um, I I would rather not try this out. Let's just uh, take some channel points. You know what? Why we are waiting? Let's summon the Juggernaut. Make a shady side for that. Yes. You could do this, but please, without my involvement. Okay, looks like. Killbuster, Wreckman, and Twix are not answering at all. So I will throw them out of the tournament. Sadly, actually. Very sad. Um, let's remove Twix. Let's remove Wreckman. And let's remove Killbuster. Let me check the group face, how this is now looking. So far, so good. Um, yeah. I hope next, next um, bracket should look better. So for the current bracket, you can see it here. We are having now the match on a stream and Afro having their match too. It was a bit too small for me to read. It was Afro's Simona. Well, we're still waiting for the uh, tomb uh, deck building action on Aeson. Okay, he is riding, he is done. Let's go, I would say.
On which point comes the elimination? So we are playing six rounds of Swiss. And after that, the best four players will have a normal tournament. So, um, yeah, they play out the first four places. Okay. In the south, Aeson Shadow Start with a Fire Witch Claws. North, Apple with a Nomad Nature Affinity. We see early well for Fire. Shadow is not taking that well. Instant Tier 2. Okay. That could mean a lot of things. That could mean he has shitty tier 1. That could mean he don't to want to show his tier 1 in the first match. Or he is pretty confident that he is not in need of a power well. And with a tier 2 unit he could sh do shenanigans here. He, da triple, a uh, double nomad color combination here. The freeze, okay. Thugs, they are S counters. Let's be careful here with his uh, phalanx. They are not a good pick against the S counters from fire. Getting them out of days. Switching them. Oh. <laughs> If you're wondering why the nomads are dying that hard, if you run over phalanx with a trampling, you get crazy much damage from that. And now the um, the witch claws has full damage or full ability. Is he using it though? He should use it if he want to. That will be a close one. Ah, okay. But defend it. I think with the ability use of the Witch Claws, he could have kicked that power well. That would be pretty close. So let's see what the second phase looks like. Taking a power well, good decision. I would do the same. You don't want to fall behind. I mean, that power well paid off already? Not, not yet, but soon. Tier 2 on the other side, so bit of tempo for Apple. Lucky pull for Double Nomad. Yeah. I was not, I was actually not sure if the ability is be working for both. If you have fire, fire, nature combination, if the two fire get more damage and one get, um, yeah, if the passive is working, but it looked like that it worked. I think the nomad, the green nomad got the healing out and there was the sign here in the corner. Ooh, nice M counter here. Ignoring all this stuff and going directly for the power well. Ooh, we got the upgrade update. Afro wins with 2-0 against Simona. Uh, GG's to you. Powell is getting kicked. In the meantime, Apple on the hunt for the orb. Yeah, it's turning around now also for the orb here. Having the tower over there. Not helping too much for the moment. <laughs> and another Morkley trap. Also the Lyrish Knight, a good thing. Oh, and the Rogan! Rogan is increasing the damage output, but probably not enough. We'll be close. And the, the orb goes down. Let's check the orb here. Ooh. Oh, he used the, the, the Reverend's effect. Reverend's doom. So he will come back. In the meantime, I'm counter killing Rogan here. Reverend, Reverend. Oh, Rogan survived. Okay. 
Well, that's a choosy position to have a Morgli trap directly besides your enemy. But what now? We have one power well for Aeson and getting another orb again. Same here for Apple. Rowan is getting his heal. Oh, no units to defend. That is the moment where you really want to have a um, scourged earth. <laughs> Sadly, probably not pulled. Aeson is waiting for his orb to get up. Okay. He is running away. Okay. And a tower. Ooh, this is looking like a tower game. One down. Now on the fight against the trap. Can't find uh, around the retreat. Yeah, probably not. And now even the sorceress. He has all the bandit cards. Who he survived? But he sniped the kill out of there. So we have here... Um, shield for Rogan. And we have the moon! Moon and Rogan. Yeah, around the retreat for the healing. Got his shield again. Ooh, that looks brutal. That that increased range here. Okay. Moon didn't make it, but now the stalkers on the hunt. Another tower here. More stalkers. Oh, he has the bunch of flash. Okay, interesting. Um, you can. I added a feature on the website. You can drag and drop the replay there and it will tell you if it's okay or not if it's not okay that doesn't mean it is bad since the website is not a hundred percent up to date to the current cards we have that with the lost bandstone for example where it, it there is a green affinity or something like this so if you have their replay with unvalid result you can send it to me and I can check that um, if it's really a mistake or if the website just screwed an affinity or something up. So we are still on equal power worlds, equal orbs. We saw the destruction of a tower on the north. He really likes to play that tower here, but that won't go up. Oh, up, but, but that was close. That was close. But without the increased damage from a building around, I don't see the Lyrish Knight doing enough damage here. Probably get out of the freeze in time. Yes. Ah, nope. Not <laughs> close. That units won't make something happen. Stalkers on the ham of the units here. Slowing them down and getting healed even a bit. Now four stalkers. I think with that, we already pushed the first tower. 
maybe that is enough here as well. Uh, okay, double Lyrish Knight. Nothing changing in the north there. Big question, is someone going tier 3? Yes! Tier 3 time! A big question, can he hold it till it's up? Against the archers, that is not a problem. Um, the Lyrish Knight without unit support shouldn't be a problem. But that big guy, he can wreck on that thing. He is not a beast, right? No, it's a demon. So no increased damage. Tier 3 is up, so let's see if he can summon something in time. Oh, killing the L unit. Yes. Oh, big damage dealer. They are L counters, but that's a bit too big. So, Aeson has to go tier 2, uh, tier 3 as well, or he will have a big problem in a second. Or he has a secret hidden tactic against that L unit here. Tier 3, okay. Maybe he can turn the table. He has a freeze after all. He can buy some time. And he has a tower there. Void return from there. Oh, the poison. Uh, will be a close call. Yeah, with the freeze, it will go up. How is killing that L unit? Tier 3 is up. What do we see now? That's old units. Tremor. Okay, he is maybe sniping now the monument over there. He is a not specialized unit. Does he have Siege? No. I'm gonna close one. Ooh, okay. Can't start another attack on the right side. Keep in mind, all these buildings here are binding energy. There are two Furniture Flash, two Retreats, and another Lost um, Launcher. All binding energy. Poison? Yeah, they got poisoned. Has to be careful not to trample them. And Tremor is making easy progress here with the buildings. Whoo! That is a flying horse. Will that be enough? Probably not, right? No. Okay, another attack in the south. That's a lot of units now. Yeah, that will probably go down. Now tier 2 versus tier 3. And this position is looking bad already. Yeah, power wall is going down. Poison. That freeze. A bit too early for him. I got snap red. Can I use the promo ones? Um, please use only the cards you have in the deck, since we have that own um you pulled from the booster. Since we have the only um the online checking tool, so it would result in an error like, hey, you used a card you're not allowed to use, um, even if it's technical the same card. I know what you mean for the flex, but for easier um, communication and to do not disin um, 
interpretate something wrong. Okay, Aeson is still fighting here. He is tier 2. What was that spell? Ooh, okay. Haven't seen that in a while. Probably not enough. Okay, he will die in a second, so you don't have to run away with that. Since, yeah, he's now dead. Can Aeson push through this? Poison? Yeah, poison. That's a lot of valid, uh, damage here with the poison. A lot of units getting now the damage wrecked up. Void Return is running. <laughs> Playing Void Return in PvP, you, then you know you played enough RPVE in your life. He is probably trying to get another tier 3 down there, but will that be in time? I mean, there are three large units already running in. Freeze not getting all units, another run is coming over. Tier 3 is getting built in at this moment. Another unit on the move to the north, probably to have another position to get an AWP. Also attacking now in the south. Next freeze. Tier 3 is going up in a second. Oh, we have a fire crystal. Ah, sadly. Tier 3 get up, but not in time. GG is called. Okay. There was a chance to turn the table, I guess. So we now have the rematch. Since Jester lost the match, Jester is now. Uh, Aeson is now allowed to pick a new card. Um. Let me just confirm. Um. So he is now allowed to choose the map. We are going to Urmia. Ooh. Let's see if this is the map to turn the tables. Good luck, have fun, and I realize I'm out of water already. So after that set of games, we are um, providing the players with boosters and then I will grab something to drink. We will have a short break in there. Fire is taking the power well. Shadow is... yes, same. Securing the middle position. Or not. Birmia, that's a quite the slow start. Uh, no, you cannot choose the boosters. The rules are set. Everyone is getting in the next round a fire booster and a Twilight Booster. We don't change rules on the fly, sorry. But I think the Tomb 
format is a nice thing to test out new rules. I mean, in this event we now have the different boosters every round. In the last tomb event I did, the players got a different amount of boosters depending on their skill level, which was also interesting. Okay, we have attack now in the north, power well in the middle. That is an excellent counter against these. They should be, yes, beasts. And they have, these units have more damage against beasts, right? Or was that the other affinity? Oh, that was the other affinity. Okay. Forget what I thought. I would like to have an active server next time. Yes, me too. Um, but things happen. Next time we maybe will make it. It's good against the shield, absolutely. Yeah, that's that's true. Yes, everyone is getting two boosters after this set of games. I can't use the fire deck I had. I didn't have a chance to use. Sorry, Big Wet, I can't follow your question. We have an all rain tower here now, getting on the ground build. And we have two here. Um, you can use the same deck in every match you like. The eight general boosters stay. You can... You don't have to play fire. Oh, will they make it? No. Oh, one died. Okay. Can he have enough damage there? Oh, and for the question, yes, the ability, the passive is active for these nomads, even if they have different colors. Oh, no, no, okay, yeah. You have your eight general boosters and with every round you get another eight, two boosters in addition to the same. So I'm pretty sure there will be players having a quite nice deck already and now playing this deck for all six rounds. But it's more for the people who had bad luck in their general boosters and now deciding who I got now a fire booster and I have now a really good fire start or um, maybe I have now a good combination on tier two. So let's switch things up. That was the idea. In the meantime, we're seeing some welling up. We have um, Aeson here with two wells and Apple with four additional wells. So he has a great position. But in the meantime, this is a, a scary amount of units. That is scary. He does not have a Viridia, it looks like. But still, these are hard to kill, even without a healing spell. And the damage, crazy. So he could attack here or, yeah, good decision. Just go north. Look at this. One power wall down, half of the orb. Yes, there's damage. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the ability is. Let us check, just to be sure. Takes... Is it more damage? But what's what the other thingy? Um... Spread among the units. At least for damage dealt. To any of the members, ten members affected, and who so it would take 15 more damage. Okay, 
Game changer. Yes. Game changer. He is not able to repair to heal them though, but still strong thing. Apple is switching his tier one now, but probably won't be in time. He really needs a good card here to to counter. He is using the gang up ability, but get frozen. Oh yeah, that looks like. Will he make it? No, I don't think so. So this is looking like a 1-1. One, one. So we have one more match here on stream. GG. I remember when I played against Carafax, he did also the shade tactic and... Whew, not to underestimate it. So, Apple can choose the last round. It's 1-1. One, one. Now we go for Simai. Sorry, <laughs> that was my mistake. Again, a small, small map like Irmia. I have to be careful there. Shadow start, fire start, nothing new here so far. How well or all? When Apple had so many power wells, I was thinking he had a better precision, but... Instant tier 2 for both. Again, Lost Souls and Bandits. The M counter here. Oh, I'm not interested in a fight. Going to the south. Tier 2 is up in a second. Just dancing around here. And instant taking a power well. Okay. And ooh, the shades are spawning. Well, Apple now knows what's coming. So I think he would not... Um... He, he is prepared, I guess. He will be prepared to face the L units. Big question, what L counters does he have? Keep in mind he needs three of them to unify the ability. The building is probably not going up with that units around. These are M counters. Yeah, and when they are switched, they are indestructible. Besides a uh, Rage's Retreat. And the repair. So for the moment, it's looking good for Apple. He has the middle position. Plus one well. Asen healing up. I think he should have some energy around. Another power well position. Plus two. Keep in mind, power wells need around three minutes till they pay off. 100 seconds. Um, if this one is getting kicked before, then nothing is won. Should have a lot of energy by this point. Is he going tier three? That would be a bold move. 
I mean, who needs power wells if you can uh, t just tech? Ooh, okay. He is going for the shade strategy again. The Morkley Trap can probably wreck damage, but won't be up in time. Oh, that will be close. Ooh, it's up in time. Oh, that hurt. Ah, sorry, uh, 200 seconds. You get one power well. <laughs> you get one power every two seconds. So we are talking about 200 seconds, which is three minutes and 20 seconds. <laughs> so what we just saw was a very lucky Morkley trap, but he got the kill on the power well. So that did not pay off at all. That were 36 Anchi getting out of this. He has not the means to heal. I think you should build at least a power well or yeah, power well. Someone got a promo razor leaf on the test server. Good for you, sir. Good for you. Morkley trap in the base. We just saw the Morkley trap is not killing five of them. So he has to have another strategy there. Maybe he's going here for an attack move? Yeah. All his units are on the left side. Got a promo. Yay, Corfax! Your first promo on the test server. <laughs> Morkley Trap, yes. With the ability of the Merkley Trap, you can um, choose the direction of the explosion and with that have more damage. And that was enough to kill all five of them. That was a crazy move. In the meantime, the damage on this side should be enough to kill the orb. Ooh, we'll be close. We'll be close. No, it was enough. Wow, what a comeback against this horde of shades. He lost his power well in the top left corner. But yeah, Aeson lost his power orb so they are kind of equal in this department in energy wise now has to connect he has built a power well here in the middle way safer spot good decision i would say but now what we saw this the shades uh, are not that good against the trap and another promo card. Will we see more power wells or even the tier 3 attempt? Tier 1 units. That's the fine thing about Tomb. Normally, if we play PvP and you are tier 2, you should not summon tier 1 unit anymore, since power to damage or health is not the best decision. Um, but in Tomb, you, you, you do what you can do. Ooh. Not sure if you can kill something here. Body blocking, enough. And again, three shades around. Preparation with a trap. <laughs> That's correct, you, as soon as you click open booster, um, it's already decided what you will get. You don't have to turn the tape, uh, the cards. You, it's just for fun turning cards. The decision is made already on the server. Okay, split attack in the totally opposite direction 
as the Shades, which are now also on the move. Oh, Lost Reaver. Yeah, that is an easy kill on the building. Now the big question... Ooh, that will not go up in time. Right? Will be close. Nope. Now that's a hard position here. One shade down, that means the ability is now lowered. And turning around just in time. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. 3 HP. Oh, that hurts. That hurts so much. But in the meantime, the attack in the bottom right was a success. So, even that Apple did not kill these shades, he still got a good beat on Aeson. And with that unit, he should be able to kill them. Yes! Whoa, okay. Now... Apple again in a good position. Maybe he can... No, that's not enough. That Revan will be a problem. To do more damage for the moment. Falling back till his time runs out. But what next? What, what next? Summoning tier 1 units. More archers on the ground. Power well, so it's again plus one. Okay. Directly on the power well. I think there's no healing here for the wells, even we have frost. Yes, power well down. And retreat. Good push. <laughs> the Void Return building. Randomly in the middle of nowhere. Ripple Nomad fire. M counters. And more damage. One goes down. Okay. Should be... Both don't want to lose that fight here. But nice focusing the dazed unit. Three nomads, probably enough here to win that thing, yes. Okay, position secured. We are back on the left versus right um, style on this map. Power well taken for Aeson. We have four power wells for green player. Do we see a tier three attempt? Lost Reaver. He was chilling there a long time. Could have done a double attack or something like this. And he might have win this. Oh, tier 3 is going up. Fire Shadow Nature. Let's see what tier 3 can do. We saw a bunch of Twilight cards already. Yeah, won't pay out. Gonna try. And tier 3 is up. The tier 2, tier 1 army on the march to the south. Ace not on the run for tier 3, it looks like. Double building in the base. Freeze in time. Chilling there, attacked by one squad of Twilight Slayers. XL counter with big damage. One tower is online. Meantime, Reaver on the power well. 
Now it's a bit of game of, of time. This base is hard to defend. He might be able... Oh, a bit too early, a bit too early. He might be able to kick that or Powell and maybe this orb. But losing this for sure. Big question, that's four Powells he can kick there. So he will be in a good position after all. Leaving Jester uh, Asen with one Frost Orb here. Which, that was close to kill. Ooh. The Twilight Slayer maybe not as bad as I was thinking. Oh. And the attack has been stopped. This is a L counter, so he is probably getting that kill. Yes, base down. Tier 1 is getting rebuilt there with a shadow. And he is trying his hardest. Ooh! 400. Not eruption range. And this is tier 1 going down for Aeson. He did not kill the power wells there. He could resummon something there. I think he oversaw that. Another one down. Trying to go tier 2 again. With two of them here around. Oh, that will be a hard one. Running back to kill this position. And he is trying to get tier 3. Or his tier 1 again in a second. Yeah, that, that looks like he's trying everything but... Orb is down. Only one squad on the wall, one squad here. And tier one is trying to be rebuilt, I guess, the last time. Promo Lyrish Knight, GG is called. Last squad. And it's done. Nice one. So, let me just fill that in for you. I have this page open. That was two for Apple and one for Jester. Whoop! And with that, we are. Oh, I have to update the name. Give me a second. Um. Ba -ba -da -ba -da so it should be correct next next reload. I hope so. Um. Let me just. Finish that prediction that goes to Apple. Okay, and with that, we are now on stage number two. We are on C mine. That will mean we have more boosters to open. So let me just um, switch to um, this uh, screen here. The next stage of the event is everyone is getting one fire and one twilight booster and let's jump over here one fire and one twilight booster so people you are now able to open more boosters oh and they are up they are interested in boosters Ooh, look at all these fire cards. I'm a team fire. Oh, we have a forest elder. We have a reel of gifts. We have a hurricane. Hurricane, awesome. More eruptions. So yeah, maybe now fire is a valid option for people and nature as well. We don't see a crazy amount of twilight cards, if you ask me. 
So it looks more like a Fire Nature edition to the player's things. I see and count. Yeah, looking good. So let's jump over to the bracket. Doo -doo. So we are having a match Zimora and Sivian, Asen and Val 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 <laughs> Walt, <laughs> Apple, Big Wet, Carefrex, Iris, and Afro and Peppy. We haven't seen Afro. A on stream, so maybe let's jump into Afro's um, match. Second round will be on a semi, so let's do a semi spectator round. Get Afro, he's not online at the moment. Hmm, maybe it's just taking something, getting something to drink. That's something I will do too. I will get something to drink. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, you just have to read the name correctly. Thank you for pinging me. Um, Afro and Peppy. Um, I will get something to drink. We'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Let me just restart that one thing to refresh the names. Um, and then we go for a round of Zimai. Let's lay this down. Mm. Stay hydrated here. All right. Peppy and Afro Andy. <laughs> I was just searching for a four letter name and didn't see a four letter name. Was thinking, yeah, Afro is not around, but it's Afro Andy here on the chest server. <laughs> I also found a piece of chocolate. You can never have enough chocolate during a stream. You have to take some energy somewhere. Mm. During that moment, we can have another round of prediction. Mm. Let me grab the names. <clears throat> so, prediction for 
afro, and a peppy. Um, we should change the order like this. All right. So, Peppy is already ready. Let's have a roll one. Let's go! Good luck. Have fun, people. We're having a match. Afro with this Peppy. Sima, we have been here before. We have a fire start from Peppy and a fire start from Afro. Mm. Yes, you can start next game. Got your opponent, and you can start. Um, yes, I have to fix there something. There's the wrong row, but I will do this when the opponent is not having a great fight here. Taking one power well and triple nomads already on the ground. Let's hope Pappy has something else as an M counter. Yes, that's good. Yeah, we, we have some time, so if you know your opponent is around and he will come back, you can have a moment there. And yeah, that is a good good defend here with Archer. Sadly, he only killed um, one of the Nomad. That, that one, that would be nice to kill that one too. And Afro now, yeah, getting the middle, not falling behind here, energy. Still no S counter on the ground. The question, is there an S counter? Taking the wall, well, that will be a hard defend. The wall archers are only able to hit the first power well. So, ooh, he's doing some dancing around. Yes, he's doing some dancing around. PvP players don't like walls, but you have to do what you have to do. Taking also plus one power well here and tier two with double fire. Oh yeah. Now we are talking. And tier two against the bandits. Having a bird out already. And the wrecker. Yeah, he is able to summon Undays units in this circle. Let's see if this is giving him the edge he needs. That still runs for a bit. Oh, the enforcer! We see a good fire play here. You can summon, I think, one more unit. Um, Railing Banner. Only the Enforcer was cast. Ooh, the Assassins. Sniping the bird out of the sky. Probably not enough to kill the Powell. Yeah, running out of ability. Switched, will he make it? Yes, he survives. Okay, he can knock back small units, so that is buying time. But not enough, I guess, for um, that power will. Yeah, that power will goes down. So for the moment, Pappy with plus two wells. 
Not sure if pure fire can recover here easily. Oh, the green one. That was one was the beast damage, right? Did I miss something? Can I run off? Health damage reduction. Oh, he's dead. Damn it. Was too slow with reading. Well, he has quite the army now. Problem, these units won't get knocked back as soon as you switch them. So, that can be a problem. That is one and force down. And... Stalk also. Hmm... Hard fight here. Already five assassins casted. And six enforcers. Yeah, he won't make it. No, he won't make it. Yeah, Peppy is in a great position here. That is hard to fight back. Plus... Besides all the units, he has two power walls, so he has a lot of energy at his disposal as well. Ooh, is it? Yes, it's enough at least to kill the unit here. But four archers now camping at your tier two. This is looking like a hard fight. GG is called. Yeah, that was that was a brutal in the middle, but good fight, good fight. So, decision now for, um, Afro, yeah, Afro lost, so Afro is saying Haladur. We are going for Haladur. One for Peppy. Let's see how we will fight on Hallelujah. My moment to drink. Let me just check some messages if I missed something. Fire start in the north, fire start in the south. So far, the same procedure as before. Mm. How well for Afo? Peppy? Same. Okay. Another power well. Afro same. So we play higher energy rounds. Afro with the M counter having the bezel position with his unit, but that a scavenger can slow down units, so even after a fight he can just run away if he managed to time it perfectly. <clears throat> and tier 2 for both. We play again Bandit and Pure Fire. So probably the same decks. Maybe small adjustments. I mean, he saw there's a lot of S units in um, S Archer units at Peppy's deck. Maybe he did some switching there. And more M counters. Yeah. 
Just to chat something. Okay. Ace and oh, okay, you are done. And you win, nice. So now it's again the battle of before, but we have a wind hunter in the sky. Come here with two cards, okay. So if you want to have a link, there is the bracket. The fight on hand is looking better, I would say, for um, Afro. There is no railing banner around. So he is making progress and killing stuff. Chat is cleared. This is now looking a bit worse with the railing banner around, but who knows? Maybe enough damage. Yeah, Apple, you feel free to start. Um, you don't have to wait for me for, to have your match on stream. I will. Um, a stream if someone is around, but you don't have to wait for me. So slow but steady, we see more damage wrecked up on that orb. And Afro having a hard time to um, defend. Three of the archers, as soon as he switches them, they're not getting knocked back anymore. Now focusing on the power well, that's a good decision since the orb is easier, or the, you can repair the orb easier. I'm just thinking back, I don't think we have hadn't have seen a, f a spell on stream besides the Ravage. So... Slow but steady, maybe he can recover here more enforcers enforcers having a hard time on the half dead unit there enforcers having a half time to kill um the units since they are m counters and s size but it looks like he might be able oh the lava feel i just said we haven't seen spells yeah, yeah, please, please start with your games as soon as possible. Um, uh, maybe I was miscommunicating beforehand. Um, you can start your games and maybe I will jump just in there and maybe watch the game. But we will show the last four matches on stream for sure. But in the staging area here in the group phase we try our best to show matches but not all for sure now the counter attack peppy is going plus one well let's see if he can wreck enough damage here oh the bird battle sadly this l counter here having a good fight 
against this M counter. But with enough damage we see the fall of the power well. That did not pay out of at all. That were only 20 energy. So important win here for Afro. Let's see if he can connect and get another victory in. <clears throat> well, not an another, that, it, that would be the equalizer. Sorry, the last round went to Peppy. Both are okay. Maybe, maybe well or orb here in the second uh, row. It's orb tier three. Oh, that will be that will be scary. He has the units, but Darcy has the energy also. Getting one of the dragons, but the power will fall. Yeah. Now retreat, another lava field, sadly missing that uh, stalker here, but that should be enough to kill them. Ah, the dragon didn't make it. Now we have tier three with double fire. The lancers, okay. These are L counters. They have an interesting ability. Maybe we'll see the use of it. Okay. Falling back for the moment. Oh yeah, you're absolutely right. Enforcer charges. Um, that's that's a problem probably. Ooh, he made to kill it. Enforcer is one of the versatile units of fire. I mean, you have seen he is using the Enforcer to fight S units just because of his charge attack, dealing a lot of damage. Big question. Can he continue? No, he is going tier 3 as well into a nature fire fire nature so yeah we had the twilight booster maybe there was something nice <laughs> like a brannock classic name twilight unit unity I haven't seen unity in pvp before but maybe the thing he is needing uh, using the ability, sadly, that was probably the mm, bit too much time loss. Ah, close, close one. Hello, Meta. He is on the march here, but he also get now the counter attack in the north. That's a big XL unit. I'm not sure if you have a XL. <laughs> he really wants to slip through there and go to the main base. Brennock on the orb. In the meantime, keep in mind, Peppy is still tier 3. Maybe he has a nice shenanigans ready. Okay. Using the ability here, probably not enough to do a lot. Wow, he is shredding through that thing. Brennock strong. Tier 3 is rebuilt here from Afro. This is looking good for Afro now. Happy rebuilding tier 3. He has to be careful. If Brennock is dying, he is losing one of his best tools here. Hmm, and orb goes down. Brennock got the heal. What a timing. Have you seen that? Crazy. 
And GG is called. Okay, that is 1-1 one, one for both. Pappy is losing that one. That means he is now allowed to do the last map choice. So, Pappy, where are we going? Say the name. Big snowy map. It's Uru time. So now it's getting interesting. Big map in tomb tournaments often means tier 3. And in some cases, it also means tier 4. And Big Wet is winning a match against Apple. Did you win 0 1 or was it. Three games. You did three games, right? Just to be sure. Or even tier five. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> to be honest, I had a match against Trix where he played Army Monument into Comet Catcher. No, into World Breaker Gun on Urmia. So, small map. <laughs> you can do everything. He won one. Okay, yeah, so you're still fighting. Okay. I was just confused. Normally people update the brackets um, with all matches played and not with every match. But you can do whatever you want. That is fine. All right. Good luck. Have fun. Let me have a sip here. <sighs> Fire start, Peppy. Frost start from Afro. A map where it doesn't matter too much how fast your units are, since you have to wait to get to certain positions. I'll be only securing one of the power well positions. I'm looking, Afro is going for two positions. Oh, never mind. Pappy is securing a second position. Or not. Forget what I thought. For, forget what I said. Afro is running back again. No more units have been summoned at this point. <laughs> okay. You wanna fight? More archers. Double archers. Yeah, he has to retreat. Double well. Same also here. Tier 2 into the bandits again. <clears throat> Andy on the way to his tier 2 probably. Still having the unit around. Frost into nature. Stonekin. Ooh, close call. And that's the perfect S counter. Let's see if Stonekin has. Ooh, the sigil. That should be able to reach both worlds. And an S counter in the frost department. You don't see him too often. He's not bad, but. 
Um, I lost a, a match lately since I didn't have an XL counter, but I had that Raptor and, well, I would love to have an, another unit, not the Raptor. So we have the Poison Archers. Whoop. They made their job. The poison will be enough to kill these. Oh, sadly they're dead. But with the raptor around, this is looking like he should be able to defend at least this round. Trampling them. More poison. And... Another set of archers down. This combination is working wonderful. I mean, he is investing also a lot of units, but we are nine charges of the assassins already from um, Peppy. Ooh, now we see some stonekin units. The ability? Yes, the ability. Sadly, it doesn't have too much health anymore. That ability would have been awesome, but a bit too late. Still, that's an M counter and he is using M units there. One archer left. Um, yes, down he goes. One archer is absolutely enough to trigger the poison effect, so it, there's no need to kill it. He can do everything, all five of them can do, six, six of them can do. Thirteen charges. We see some more spells. Ooh, yeah, now we have three of the archers around. That will be a burst of damage. Ah, not too much, actually. Good timing. Muller! Oh, that's not a bad idea since he can disable range units. Even if he's not the perfect counter, he can disable them. Ha! <laughs> Okay, now Afra has to figure out a new strategy. Okay, and the bird is the strategy. He has gravity surge. Oh, that hurts. Will he make it? One more. Oh, he didn't make it. Close, that was close. Arius, it sounds like you're having a hard fight there. He has some good, good, good pulls. So, what's the strategy here now for Peppy? Peppy is not continuing his attack. I mean, he is 17 um, Dark of Assassin's in at this point. He's not destroying the Railing Banner. <sighs> that can be fatal. Tier 3. Yeah, we are playing on a high Void Pool at this point. Stonekin Army on the march. We see another fire here. And a Root Nexus. And yeah, now the thing gets destroyed. Root Nexus, Root Nexus, maybe for the Raptor, and pulling out some units here in the back. Big question. Tier 3 with the L counter. Sadly, as you can see, they get flown around. Another unit here, that won't kill it, but the damage on the orb is brutal and killing it and now it's only cleaning up so that was a short tier 3 endeavor by peppy
Nothing happening here. Happy on the run for another tier 3 probably. He has to be careful. He just saw what ended up here. Oh, he needs to use it to repair or heal. Don't see the healing ability of uh, the Tempest too often. Building the orb. Mm, walls? Yes, walls. That's totally decent decision here. Totally acceptable. I would do the same. Just buying time. Tier 3 has to come up this time. And maybe longer than for 10 seconds. Tier 3, but also for his opponent. And at this point, he has two power worlds more than Pappy. So, I think Afro has a bit better positioning now. Well, not positioning, it's actually like economy. Trying again to slip through there. Not getting the body block. Maybe he is on the hunt for another position. You have to defend here now. What is your plan? Ooh, his plan is to attack multiple positions. But still, what are you doing here? Are you ignoring the loss of this position? Oh, and there's Brennock. Ooh. Might be XL counter, but still strong unit. The Reavers on the orb. Oh, and here you get the Ice Shield building. Losing his tier 2 at this position. Reaver is cleaning up here. Brannock now on, his, on the hunt for his tier 3 position. At this point it's tier 2 position. Happy still racking up damage on the power belts here. And he got the kill on the orb. Ooh. So now we're playing time attack, I guess. Sadly, that unit won't make it if he's not careful. But he get this position here. He can rebuild tier 2 in a second. Has to be careful losing tier 1, probably. Tier 2 is rebuilt, going on the next power belts. Afro has still that position to get also his tier 3 again. But now focusing tier 1 position of Peppy. Next power wall falls. This point, um, Afro only with one power well. And if this continues, Peppy with a zero. So we are now playing on Void. Ooh, but that's a big angry boy. Hmm. Yeah. Tier 1 units. This one is going down. So the final stand of Peppy, I would guess. No CC spells. I, oh, there it is. Well, the are the archers are doing damage. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got a refund. I think that's not how it's how it works, sadly. I cannot do this um, with the tools I have on hand. And we see the moon again. Will moon make it? Ooh, 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 ooh. Sniped. The archers. You can do it. Okay. And Brennock on tier one. The last stand. Okay. But the, the firebomb might get up. Yeah. My bomb is up, but now he is running on the timer. 15 seconds left. Don't see him um, 
destroying that orb in time. Especially not with Brennog and his fiery aura. Yes. Well. And Peppy Surrenders, GG. So this goes to Afro, correct? Prediction. For Afro. Also, Big Wet won. Okay. Apple, that's it now. What? I can't follow you. So we are currently at stage number um, two. So... You have four more games for sure to play. So we can check if we can jump in another um, a match of someone else. No, no, uh, and Apple, you, you're not out. We are playing six matches. That is the nice thing, thing about Swiss. There are six matches for sure. You only get beaten and get thrown out after you have played six matches against six opponents. So at the moment, we are still waiting for a Simoras match and Carafax match. So we can um, chat in with Simora. What's next? We have to wait. Well, let me switch the scene. We have to wait for two more matches and then we are jumping over to stage number three. Oh, Simar, just write it down. Can you hit the score to 2 0 from Big Wet? Yes, I can. Edit Big Wet to safe. <clears throat> Simora, are you done? Yeah, feel free. Get something to drink. Get a cigarette. Ah, oh, okay. So they hadn't fought yet. Um, Xavier is where? Well, it looks like we are waiting here for him. Since we're also waiting for the match of Carafax and Irius, maybe we can jump in there in the second round. Do I see the, the correct that there will be two more rounds in the group stage plus final? No, there will be four more stages in the group round. Okay, um, it looks like Saviel is on his way.
So in total, we can jump over to the um, other screen. Give me a second to answer Carafax, uh, not Carafax, Metacross question. Uh, too many windows, too many windows. Uh, whoop. And whoop. We are currently here. We having um, round one done. Everyone got a new booster. Then after that, everyone can new booster and so on. In total, six rounds. And after every round, more boosters. So I guess we can now have them also on stream. Not sure why they didn't before I mean you, you don't have to wait for me to show that on stream um, we are now going again for the first match on Zimai and we are waiting a second here for um, Saviel we can have another prediction a second Prediction, uh, new one. So we wait till they are joining before I start the prediction. Wouldn't make sense to do this beforehand. Oh, looks like Iris um, and Carefax are done as well. So... There you go. Let's start the prediction. Your chance to win some good uh, channel points. With that channel points you can summon people, for example... Rogan Kale! The giant King's right behind me. Clear the way! <laughs> Sorry, that, that had to be. How can I summon Toggy? The best I can do is summon the Juggernaut. But sadly, there is no Enforcer and there is no Warlock. Carafax did get the win against Iris. So let us refresh that thing. We are now on the last set for the second stage. All right. We are waiting for Saviel, and then we are good. It looks like I didn't um, write the um, the forum post good enough. Since there was some confusion about how many games do you play. So to make it clear for everyone, there are six stages and everyone is playing six rounds. You don't get kicked out of the bracket, you don't get into a loser brackets. Six rounds for everyone, that's the nice thing about Swiss. So we have the fire start and nothing for the moment here. Fire start, both with the fire nomad. Looks like the fire boosters paid off. Welds for both. Nothing fancy so far. 
I think I saw someone got strikers out of the booster. I'm not sure which player that was, but we could see strikers. More nomads. You need three of them, but he already built here another power well, so Simona should have more energy. I just had strikers. Ah, cool. But maybe don't say that too loud. It's a tomb tournament. This information can be critical. We also know that some players um, got their... Um, what was it? Forest Elder. Yeah, the, with, with core card or spells, you have a very good time in PvP um, in general and in Tomb especially. But no worries, there's that, that it's not fixed in stone. We will open two more boosters after this match and maybe you get your cool cards as well. War gets destroyed, only binding energy. Tier 2, plus 1 well for Seviel. And Simona with an Pyromancy. Pyromatic. Railing Banner. Termit Hill. Oh, we have here Burning Spears. Trilight Brood un Undazed, okay. It looks like they're doing an AWP trade. He, with that, Simona would lose also the power well, I guess. So big question. Go back? No, attack. As a fire player, you always attack. In this case, the, the tower is not a bad decision since he cannot run back there. Another ability use of the Wrecker. <clears throat> Still fighting against the power well while losing one. Ooh, okay. Next on the orb. One on one Wrecker on the power well. Another use of the ability. M unit counter. Good, good choice. Will it be enough? Are the brutes good? Okay, they have good stats at least. But with that, tier one down. This is now getting a bit of a time game. I have to rebuild somewhere. And here we have the rebuild, but losing the base, this is this is a hard comeback. I mean, no power wells, well, one power well at this point, but... Tier 2, what? I think that was an instant cancel. I think there was a misclick. What boosters do we get next? Um, I have no idea. Let me check the forum. Next one is Nature plus Stonekin. Okay. Why he ignore well? Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe he misclicked. Also, you run to the top and then left. I guess here is blocked. No, that's not blocked. But that power gets kicked. Uh, that orb. Also, getting the power over here. What is it going forth and back? More tier one units. Tier 1 is going down. He needs to secure that position here. 
else? Timer is running. Yeah, running back. But with that, Nomad, you won't fight against this wrecking army of wreckers. Wall to buy time. Wall breaker. Oh, okay. That is, that is a thing. Timer's running. Will he have enough energy to get his orb in time? Still two power wells. Okay, orb gets rebuilt. Simona on zero power wells. Losing units now is is fatal kind of void is not your friend you lose 10 percent every time you use a spell or you do something with units still having that power well staying alive is not sure misclick on the hunt for the next orb Losing one wrecker? Yes, using alone one wrecker. Already on position for the next orb. So he probably should place some units or building around um, the orb positions. So it won't go forever. Or, yeah, tag up again with power welds and go for a bit longer game. Okay, not fighting against the units. The longer the game goes, the better the position gets for CVL. Um, since he has power welds, okay. These two could have been easily killed before. And then it's kind of a good position again for Simona. Very interesting game so far. Oh, oh. That is now a fatal mistake if you're not killing that power well, or in general, if you're not killing a spawning building around your orb. Yeah, for I think also the, the terminal will take longer than I personally had expected. Um, maybe, like I said, a bit of miscommunication on my side. You all should start as soon as possible. Um, they could have done have their match already done at this point, but Happens, I think the next three games should be um, smooth sailing since everyone is now in the picture. You are playing here six games. So you can start as soon as you want. Do we need another round of the Swiss? Well, there is a plan to have the best four players having a tournament. Well, yeah, it, it should be good for the... Um, to decide the winners, kind of, yeah. I planned with more people and that's the reason why I planned with the best of... or, or a tournament, mini tournament for the best four players. Um, we will see how how is it ending up. And at this point, ooh, he survived. The wreckers are M counters as well. Winning this probably. That pyromatic, yes. 
Yes, everything I just said is also in the forum post, so if you are unsure about the rules or how the event is going to be played, you can just read the forum post. And the Wreckers are getting the kill on the L unit. <laughs> yeah, time zone, I think for you... I, I think for you I should have started a bit later, right? Then it would be okay. Well, and now we have no units anymore for um, Simona. And a tier 2. Okay. That's a lot of energy investment if you only have one power well. Let's see if we have some nasty tier 2 units to turn the table here. Keep in mind, Sylvia still with plus 2. <laughs> till 2 a.m. Ah, uh, let's hope not. Let's hope not. I mean, we are around two hours in the event, right? Two, uh, yeah, two hours and 20 minutes. And we have four more rounds. That will mean around 10 o'clock here. It should work out, I guess. I personally don't want to stay up till 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, the pyromancer is, is is a weird decision there. But at this point, plus two. Mm, of the two units here, you always oh, see a will sapper. Okay, that is a new strategy. Let's see if this thing goes up. If yes, ah, uh, okay, not not with the dragon around, that won't go up, but that would be funny. On the dragon, on the hunt. Good positioning here. Able to hit. Oh, they are M counters, so. Not doing too much damage, I guess. Mm. Will take a while to kill them with only these. Take another power well. At this point, having by far the power advantage. Another one. Only if you are tier 2, you should also all always try to summon tier 2 units, um, if possible. We are still here with tier 1 units. Another dragon. And now going for the orb over there. Yes, if he's doing a big defense here, just let him defend. Yeah, the two dragons are enough to kill that orb. Will he be able to defend here? Oh, we see a termit hill. The orb is not enough to kill the hill. Oh, it is enough. And we see a Morgli trap. That will be up in time. In the meantime, the dragon's on the move. Nice multitasking here. I think that is the moment where Xavier should be able to push through. Now on zero power wells. 
Not getting the kill here. Ah, uh, one more hit here. Yes. Yes, that is... That is looking like a win for Saviel. Rematch. First win for him. Map choice goes to Simona. Where are we going? Let's wait a second here. Okay, no response. I can show the map on screen. Okay, Lajesh. We do Lajesh. Let's wait for Iris. Oh, we kick. Three. Two. Okay. <laughs> Rematch. First round for um, Salviel. And now we are up for round number two. Lajesh. Small map again, fire start and and wreck of fire start. Ooh, ooh, power well into double fire nomad. Another wrecker. Ripple Nomad, a lot of damage. Nice micro. But keep in mind they can cannot heal here. So he has now one half dead. Yeah, he has to fall back for the moment. But the power wall is up. Time is running. As long as this well is up. The advantage is on Simona's side. But keep in mind, he didn't lose any um, units so far. The banner for Void Return, instant Void Return. As long as a unit dies near there. Okay, one Nomad down. One on very low HP. But, ooh, that was now... Let's see. Let's see. If Simoy can pull this off to defend. Getting the Nomad back to healing. That's a good decision. Should have done this probably with another one as well. Now getting back into the fight. So three are around and the ability is running. Let's see. Run back for healing. And now focusing down. Very nice play. Triple Nomad fire combination here. Big question. Is he going to push? Or wait for a second and get another set of units or power wells or even tier 2? 
The power well, okay. At this point, his nomads are back running again with this HP. Focusing on one unit could be... Oh, slowing down. Oh, sad. They only got two hits out of there. There was the target management, probably a misclick even. And the Sandro, yeah, with, with the Sandro in your fire deck, you have a good uh, tool to finish matches on tier 1. And we now see triple red and nomad as well. Sadly, one is dazed. But still, that is enough damage to push through on tier 1. Yeah, GG's. This one, um, prediction goes to Saviel. Very well played. And with that, let's jump over to this. Booster str screen, a stream, yes, green stream is all the same. First of all, you can fill in uh, the last blank, and I will in the meantime add the next set of booster. We having a nature and a stonekin booster next. So let's add a nature and a stonekin booster. I will fill in in the meantime. Oh, wrong tab. Oh, okay. Breeding rounds. Maybe we see some breeding round actions. I will fill in your um, results. So, Sivial is winning with 2 to 0. And yeah, you are allowed to open your next boosters. If you're not familiar, you can check the bracket. Bracket. If you type correctly, it's also working. Um, refresh. Thank you. We are waiting for some boosters here. And I will take the time and get something to drink again. We'll be back in a second.
Okay. So, I am back. We don't see boosters? Wait, what? Oh, we, we, it was not refreshing. Okay, sorry. Um, Someone is chatting me. Big wet. Oh, yeah, okay, why not? Let's see... The match of these two. The next round is on Elyon. Okay, they know the drill. So let me get the prediction ready. I was not able to check the boosters. Too much stuff going on. So prediction, new one. We play um, from the big wet and Asen. Let's start the prediction. And get ready for round of Battle Forge. And then we have to check the boosters. I have no idea what, what people draw. That was too fast. Damn it. Okay. Frost start, big wet. Nature start, Asen. So, we have are opening Nature Stonekin. Well, the Frost is kind of Stonekin. How well for both. But Web is pretty, pretty nice. Healing themselves. Ooh, a Stranglehold. Is he able to kill them with the archers? Will be, will be possible, right? Yes. Got me something to snack. Mm. Just realized how long that stream will might be. Um, should have prepared something beforehand. Where we still around, at least the second round of where we is. So far, no big losses on both sides. We saw the destruction of a tower. Oh, tricks! Yeah, you did me dirty here. In the beginning, I would be having. A hand would be helpful, but we figured things out. And we are currently at stage number three. Ooh, Hurricane. Hurricane for Big Wet. That is a nice car to have in a boosters. And the Burr. Oh. Now it's getting scary. Oh, that's an L counter. But I realized you can use this ability to transform in itself. And that is dealing quite some damage if you need. Not enough probably here. No, sad. 200. Hmm. Falling back. That unit will die from the poison. Yes. Yes. Sad. That was a good attempt here. Another power well not repairing. Okay, that is scary. I would have repaired. <laughs> it will pay off in a second, but... With double burrow here, it could easily go that you lose both now. Just another oink in a second. Or just ignoring them and going for the main base. 
Maybe a split attack? No, not split attack. But a counter attack. Oh, it's Rogan. Will he make it? Use the ability. Oh. Too early. Ability just in time. Ooh. Okay. But they will get um, out of the ability in a second. In the meantime, counter attack here. The Ray of Light is doing a wonderful job here keeping the bugs alive. But with that, now the bugs did the kill. Whoa, okay. Big Wet has a nice set of cards here. Also the Cobalt trick. <laughs> and the Stone Hurler, okay. Disabling the archers with the Molo. He is also able to disable the tower? No, he cannot. Who also knocked back on L un uh, M units? Forgot about that. Well, rebuilding another power well here. Expensive, but why not? Keep the keep, keep it running. Early use of the ability. <clears throat> Not sure what the plan here is. Big wet should have quite some energy. Well, maybe so even all. Okay, only king. Lose another power one in the base. That's not a good thing. Ooh, yeah. That is going down. And with that, going minus one. And already progressing on the orb. The healing is keeping things running. And Asen is dropping out of the game. So, first round, Big Wed. GG, let's see what map we are playing next. It's Asen's Joyce. Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. <laughs> he was jumping in in the last minute. We we were actually already starting the event. And yeah. He he is now Mr. Delilov. So, next round is Uru Big Map. Let's see if he can turn the table. Nature start from Big Wet. 
Nature Star, Aeson. And I think being proud of um, a certain start, um, I think in Tomb you have to do what you have to do. We saw a lot of fire starts actually. Um, so I guess a nature start was not that present actually. We saw some master archer start and witch claw starts. Just some dancing around, both with one power well. Well, this will take forever. Okay, both one power well and now hurricaning the werebees. Five bursts, probably not enough to kill. Ooh. The Amazon can take over this unit. But in the end, that was not a bad trade for Aeson, since he has two units on the ground and didn't lose energy to Void Tier 2. Maybe even a bit greedy Tier 2, if you ask me. Keep in mind, he can take over that unit. Yes, like this. So this tier 2 will go up. The question, what will be the defense? We know there is a cobalt trick, so the orb losing. Probably not. Yeah, cobalt trick. Into an oink. Now repair goes up, right? Yeah, repairing. Let's be careful again, since she can reuse her ability at some point. This one is not switched yet. So not full damage potential. Another repair. And the Amazon is going down. Yes. So that will be now difficult to defend at this point. Ah. Tier, greedy tier 2 goes down. Instant rebuild in the base. But the army is on his way. Stranglehold. Outside of the range of um, the orb. So many, so many swift claws. Yeah, what now? Ooh, knockback unit. Still a bit of problem with the knockback unit is targeting a single unit from a squad but with that positioning maybe maybe the big wet can defend this since this tower is constantly attacking this unit which is he is rooted kind of himself I mean with the cobalt trick he probably can push through here and keep his position Yeah, that one is just chilling. No, forget about what I said. Yes, okay. Tier 2 time on the other side of the map. So we have the nature into fire. This takes quite some time to kill this rooting tower. Oh, is the getting rebuilt? Yeah, the primary defender was an interesting choice. If his, if that was going up, that would be maybe helpful. But 
bit greedy to place it this close to um, to the units. Okay, big defending power here. Um, breeding grounds. Okay, my breeding grounds from the last change that was a while ago, but it's now very expensive. Like 90 energy. That's a lot. You have to invest like um, 400 energy in units before it pays off. So, yeah. Can take a moment. But with the mix he have here already, that's kind of close. Will he make it to defend his will? Oink comes up with the oink. And the flying disco ball of healing. First well falls. A lot of units getting bounced around. And he got the hit on the knockback unit. The Mula is probably the biggest threat if you're getting close. Double oink. One unit out. Not sure why he, they had a shorter um, duration. Mm, they had that ray of light. Yeah, too late. But all units are in there. Oh, yeah, that, that burrow might do the job there. Still dazed, half damage, but... Not a lot of units to kill him, and the archers just now attacking them. Yes, now the power goes down for Aeson. With that at plus two, keep in mind he is binding quite some energy here in buildings, not doing anything. But defending the position here. Now getting a building up. I'm not sure. Yeah, he cannot. Okay, with double burrows, he cannot for sure. Another healing disco ball. He has to be careful. Getting poison on that thing, that would be annoying. Just in time, kicking around the Rogan. The disco ball is getting poisoned. Probably won't make it. He cannot target himself. Nope. Good decision here with the archers. Okay. Tier 1 kicked. Orb switch and the upper base. Another power well to secure the, posi the position. The attack continues. Still, um, still the breeding ground around could help, but yeah, gets focused first. Spamming out the units as long as the thing is still around. But now, with a knockback unit. Oh, we see tier 3. Okay, Stonekin tier 3. For the double nature. <clears throat> Losing that attack. Yeah, guess. These are L counters, but still have quite nice stats. These are M counters, so the bucks might be a problem. 
Sadom Lord. Don't make it in time to kill the tower there. Healing. Using the ability of the tower, the now if units die, he has something out of it. But it's looking like there's not nothing dying. Search of light would be nice, right? Did him. Well, he kicked one power well. That was not bad. Still has to figure out how to put through. The army of swift claws. What do we have here? Another set of the same units. In the meantime, Ace in the middle. Is he going tier 2? Yeah, tier 2. Oh, we have brains. Well, brains not bad. But... Yes, anti-air one shot. Wow, that was an expensive 100 energy. Army is arriving here. Tier 2 is now up. Big question, is it enough? That or probably won't make it. Oh, the doink! Be careful. One more hit. Whoa, okay. That was a scary one. Having some buggies. And the hurricane. You go nowhere. Switching, switching. Oh. Oink. <clears throat> Still with the knockback unit around. Just to buy the necessary time, I guess. Another cobo trick. Mm, will there be a cobo trick in time? Yes. Mm, yes, that looks defended. GG is called. Big Wet is taking the win. Let's clear that prediction. GG's. So let's see what the bracket looks like. I think just someone finished their game. Yeah, Simona and Van... <laughs> Walt. <laughs> we just said we called him Walt. I can insert also the big Wets win with 2-0. Safe. So we have Carofax still fighting. Carofax still fighting. Apple and Iris. Um, We haven't seen Iris on stream. So let's um, wisp him. In the meantime, let me check. I still have three rounds. Yes, you exactly. You have understand the rules. <laughs> In the meantime, let me um, check the boosters here for a second. Um, what did we got out of the Stonekin and Nature stuff? Um, hmm. Not sure here. We have the Oing, we have Wind Weavers. But we don't have a card which I say... That is so awesome. 
Yeah, that's that's OP. Yeah. Also, all the brewers helpful. Storm Seer can also be a good decision um, as an M counter. No shaman. Yeah, it looks like no shaman so far. Um, another root. Well, I would say it's it's decent. We have a lot of the Search of Light, Wind Weavers, some of the essentials, like say it like this. So, if you know how to duel with them, that's that's good. Whose pool is this? This is the pool of everyone in the event. So. We have no idea who this player is who got the Mark of the Keeper. Um, I will make that public and the end of the event, but for now, we don't know. Alright, so let me just jump back into Battleforge and figure out if we have... Um, <laughs> if we have another game where we can spectate. It looks like Iris is still fighting. He can't answer, which is absolutely okay. Focus on your games. Don't answer my stuff. Um, we can also chat Carol. Oh, he answered. Okay. He said we can join the next fight from him. Also, Peppy here is it. So, yeah, we see. Thank you. Thank you, Apple, for joining. So, we are losing another player in our set. That's okay. Let's figure out how we do this in our next stage, since we are having an uneven number. Um, I guess one can't do anything, can't watch, uh, can only wait till the end of the fight. I mean, well, uneven number. <clears throat> okay, we have Pappy, Iris, um, let me just check the score, how, how the score currently is. Oh, it's a 1-1. It's the tiebreaker now. In Swiss, it's an e it's an evil win. Yeah, okay. So, we have a 1-1. We are having a match. Pappy, Iris on Elyon. We don't do a, um, a guessing here since it's the third match already. If we... No, no predictions here. Um, next round again. Um, we can check the bracket just to see how far we have proceeded. Carefax is still in the fight with Afro, I guess. And all players are ready for our game here. So, let's see what they have planned for their opponent. In the meantime, I can uh, drop out um, tricks. If you are still around, I can reactivate your um, entry. So you can join in the next stage if you want.
Yeah, sure. Um, it, it looks like it's possible. So if you are interested, I can um, reactivate your um, participation. Okay, um, let's activate tricks and disable Apple. Yes. Uh, let's check our group face. Yes, okay, so you should be able to join in the next round. You have already the link posted by me for your um, for your boosters. You can, uh, you can open your existing boosters and in the next stage you will have two more boosters. I already forgot which the next colors are. Let, let, let me just scroll uh, to the right window. Next is fire, uh, is frost and lost souls so iris with, with a fire start happy with nature's start <clears throat> okay now we're seeing units instant takeover with that he will probably snack that um archers here away not sure how much the ability costs Mm. And it's getting changed back. So, oh, rooting them from the distance. Fire swarm, probably a problem. Getting the kill here. Taking over the unit again. Focusing the... Oh, the well nice heal. So, Pappy has some nice nature cards. Um, I sent you the first link with your player ID. And if you go there, you have eight general booster, you have a fire booster, you have a twilight booster, um, you have a stonekin booster, and yes, you open all. Yes. <laughs> Why do I make it so complicated? Just open all boosters. So what we just saw was a good fight from Peppy, but sadly... For him, that was a nice fire play here we saw from Iris. And we now see the striker. Strikers with the next charge, probably able to kill there. Whee, okay. Awesome position, Iris. So many units. That power is probably going down. Yes, and that's going down. With that, not only plus one, it means plus two. As long as defense here now for the next attack. Tier two defense, okay. Strikers. And they snipe him. No, close. A lot of S counters around him. Yeah, he is able to snipe the M unit. Now big question on tier two. Ooh, the bird. Bird is an S counter. Not a lot of damage, but the knockback. That is disabling two units here. Still has to figure out how to kill the M units. How well is getting low? Uh, Orb is getting low. Pappy is doing a phenomenal 
rebounds here and Carefax loses against Afro. But with the bird combination here, it's just a matter of time. <laughs> Rebuilding tier 2. Peppy probably now trying to secure a position here. Keep in mind, minus 1, minus 2 wells. How much time do you have? Um, after this match, next stage will begin. So... At maximum 25 minutes. If they wrap it up faster, it will be faster. Keep in mind, you will get two more boosters. So if you're planning for a Frost or Lost Soul stack, or you're missing Frost Lost Souls cards, you might want to wait till I um, assign the next um, boosters. You, okay, Ethan, you say you have five more minutes and then you drop out, or what? Base is already slotted from Pappy. He has his tier two units out. Ah, he said to me. Okay, so two many chat messages. So at this point, no power wells for Peppy. Mm, hard to come back. Uh, let's see if he can pull this off somehow. He is... Okay, he has a Storm Singer. At least a nice counter here against the bird. Should make it. Oh, the heal. Counter attack on the power well on the left. Hmm... Yeah, not looking good. Attack gets oinked. <sighs> Still trying to kill the power well. Wall gets up, but that's a lot of range units and they ignore the wall. So, just a matter of time. Rooting down the L counter. Ooh, he is in range. Was not aware that he has higher range than the archers. GG is called. Iris taking the win. Let me just fill that in for you, Iris. Um, getting two wins, Peppy one, save. And with that, we can jump over to um, the next bracket. Find your opponent, and I will give me a second. I will add your boosters. Just let me double check. Um, we are adding, adding Frost Lost Souls. Okay, plus one Frost, plus one Lost Souls. Um, let's check some boosters. Okay, Frost Mage, nice Frost starter. Balance double um, white rangers. Mm, Nightcrawler. Okay, okay. Nothing which I say that's... Oh, oh that's an awesome combi. Uh, the War Eagle and the Area Ice Shield. That is a nice combination in a single booster. And also there was one Frost Booster here. Look at this. The Ice Guardian, Master Archers, Towers and Ice Berry in a single one. That is also strong. 
Here we have archers and the north guard. Also nice combination if you go for frost. For lost souls, I don't see awesome lost souls cards. Sorry. There is not a single lost souls card would I say is for um, maybe the dancer. But I don't see any lost souls cards for PvP. Okay, let's check the bracket. We are fighting here now on Lajesh. Nox plus horse also... Yeah, okay. But um, that's not Lost Souls, that Shadow Cards that was wrongly described by me. So we have Afro and Big Wet. Simona and Trix. Aeson and Pappy. Carefax and Walt. Iris and Xavier. Maybe we just jump into Trix since he joined just now and figure out how he is doing that with his deck. So let's go here and find Trix. Trix, we are on the test server. You read that? Just to be sure. Yeah, sorry, okay. Um, think of exporting and importing your deck code, maybe, <laughs> if you made a deck already. Um, we go Lajesh. Yeah, the plan was to go on the live server, but things happen. We are on test server and we're figuring out things from here. Um, let me just post here. Um, You're watching who... Well, yes, you, you, you're right, Iris, but... Um... Since we had an uneven number, that would mean one player had to fight no one. And in this case, I would say, well, nothing, I guess. Still, it is a tomb fight. In a normal tournament, if you have the full cards as your um, available, then it would be probably just a slaughter. Um, but we don't know. Maybe Trix only has one tier one unit and is now trying to figure out how to win a game with mana wings. Who knows? Who knows? We can switch back again to the uh, bracket. So people, you can find your opponent on here if you are unsure where uh, your opponent is. Um, sorry, let me make that smaller. Mm. Where is it? There's it.
good. Let me just grab another glass to drink. I'm back in a second. Okay, so... Hello? What? You can't hear me? Wait. Now it's working. Okay. Misclicked somewhere, sorry. So Trix has arrived, and... Some Simonas just have to find the place and get ready, and we can have the first fight. Let me get the prediction <coughs> up and running. Um... Ba -dum -ba -dum. Prediction for Trix and Simona. <clears throat> Good. Let's see. Simona ready. Tricks ready. I guess we have a fight now. Let's go. <clears throat> and in the north, a tricks with nothing. Simona with fire in the south. <clears throat> fire also for tricks. Not getting a run to the opponent. <laughs> Nothing happened for a moment. Okay, okay. Fan of glory, fast avoid return if units die. Have to be careful that you are in range there, else you won't have any benefit from that. Not investing too much energy here. Firebomb, okay. Just dancing around. Dancing around doesn't mean damage. Ooh, Trix has an eruption. Sniping three nomads. Firebomb in range of the orb. So it's a matter of time until it goes boom. Trix on the move to get a power well, probably. Another firebomb in his face. <laughs> 
So at this point, it's plus one tricks. And equalizer here, Simona. Up next, Powell with the help of a fire bomb. Orb in the middle. Orb in the middle can be can be dangerous. Let's see. Fire bomb in the left gets destroyed, and the building as well. Finding energy only. <laughs> Another fire bomb. These guys like their fire bomb, I guess. Um, summoning some undazed units here. It was just a trade. Nothing too major so far. Getting healed up again. Firebomb. Get killed. Not getting killed. The wreckers. I have an interesting thing going on here. Tier 2 now from Trix with the Poison Archers. With their help, they should get the units killed. Samora should go now also. Yeah, Tier 2. Big question, will it be up in time? Hmm. Ignoring the middle part. Firebomb for the defense in the base. So many firebombs. Sunken temple. Okay. Now we see some um, tomb strategies. Muller and the base. M counter. Oh, L counter. Both are L counters, actually. Poison shot here. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Now it's getting interesting. Well, there is a strategy with these two buildings. Let's wait and see if we are seeing that strategy or if I'm just a bit uh, curious. Ooh, nice lava field here. Not killing something at this point. One, two poison guys alive. Absolutely enough to do the full effect. And it's down. Having them around the tower. And in a second, we probably... Yeah, we see the activation of the tower. And that means we will see some strong bucks in a second. Will they be... I know he can't kill his own unit, so... He only will get two bucks, but still... Two annoying bucks. So, they are free units, which is not to underestimate it. Not sure if you can win a, f a, a fight with them. I mean, a lot of micromanagement. We see the Termit Hill here. Has to be careful, can be easily overseen, and then make a big problem. 
these are M counters. Huh. Oh, the firebomb did her thing on destroyed everything. We don't see a plus for Wells. Oh, he he gets up but is outside of range. <sighs> that hurts. But now with the yeah, like I said, the middle position for fire opponent can be problematic. GG is called. Okay. Rematch time. Which map uh, shall we go, Simona? First round, tricks. Elyon. Elyon. All right. Yeah, I, I understand. I. When I do the buck strategy, I normally do it with cultist masters. Iris is taking the win. Congratulations. And jumping over to see the strategy from Trix and from um, Simona. Okay, North Trix with a um, record start and another start with a Nomad in the south. Well, not a fast game so far. Both taking the well. Middle position for Simona. Looks like a chill start so far. No tier one battle is approaching. Tier two. Okay. Again, the nature combination. And a nature combination. But what is happening next? Just some dancing. I see. Perfect is also taking a win. Congratulations. Okay, we well, see a stalker. Another stalker. Simona still only dancing with a nomad. Should now be around 200 energy, I guess. Okay, that's tier one units. Not sure if they will make it in time. In the meantime, attack over there with tricks defending. With Twilight Brute. No, um, Slayer. That is a dead. Ooh. Whoa. No way. That was a close one. Interesting, everyone this is Twilight. Okay. Yeah, that's actually... Actually, absolutely right. I was expecting to see um, more Frost 
There were some insane frost cards in the mix. Ooh. That was some damage. Not getting the heal. Okay. Um, single heal. Rooting down. Still that should hurt. Yes. He's too probably not enough to kill that orb. With an heal yeah, okay, with no heal. But with the eruption, okay. On death eruption. Losing tier one and the power well. Can hard precision to come back. Let's see if we can figure out a counter attack. Getting a fire bump over here. I an L counter and these are M counter, but not dealing too much damage for the second tier. Rebuilding tier two. And another slaver. Is this the way to go? Is this? Is he good? I mean, he has an eruption in his hand, and eruptions are always good. Tier 2 is back online. Okay. Oink. I don't think that was necessary. So they are now focused on the orb. Just outside of range. These guys are M counter, so the bigger, better trade here. But, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, this gives one in the style points. That had, that had swag. Retaking a power well. Late, but possible to recover here. Not too sure with mm, minus one still and on tier one against these units. Getting out a good trade will be hard. Poison guys doing their best. That explosions. And we are back to sieging with the siege units. GG is called 2 4 Tricks. I can enter that for you. Um, If I find the right uh, window, that is. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Rix taking the win. Predictions. Rix taking the win. Okay. Firebomb is life saving in Zoom. Yeah, we saw that already on some matches. Um, it looks like the Big Wet and Afro is still fighting. So maybe we can uh, jump over in their fight. Let's um, wisp. Maybe they are even on their last round, which would be fine also. In the meantime, let me just check again the boosters if there was really so much bad stuff happening um, with the boosters 
Oh, shut down. Still think. Oh, Afro is sending me it's over. Okay. Nice. We are quite good in the time frame now. With that, we are already in the next phase. Ooh, we are getting speed. We are getting new boosters. We just got frost and lost souls. And now we get a shadow and a bandit. Now it's getting interesting. So let me add the shadow. And the bandit booster for everyone. All right. You are free to open your boosters. In the meantime, let me check the brackets and see the opponents. Let me just refresh the side. I don't see new boosters popping up. Oh, there are new boosters. Okay. Just refresh sometimes. Could help. Um, Shadows and still no cool bandit cards. Where are the bandit cards? No bandit minefield. Another refresh. Let me show it on stream. So, even for shadow, another infect noise. Assassins. Oh, we have Coldest Buster. Snappies. Huh. Okay. Let's figure out where we are um, taking our seat. We can go and watch Iris. We wanted to join Iris matches um, before, so maybe we can do it now. Let's get. Oh, it's already part of the group. Oh, no. I was slow. Should check this beforehand. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So Iris and we need Afro. Um, there you go. And we are going on Uru. We start this time on the big map. Oh, that was the wrong one. Uru and the spectator version. Let's get you also um, here in Battleforge. Let's start a new prediction. Pre 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 predict. If you can type correctly, you can also use the prediction between Iris and Afro. Let's go! Your chance! While they are fixing their deck with the new cards, let's have something else. Let's see. We already summoned Moon, we already summoned Rogan, and we already summoned the Juggernaut. So, why not summon Viridia in this short break? <laughs> Okay, Ever is already ready. We are waiting for Iris and then we have a fight.
Yeah, we have some nice matchups here. All right, let's go. Good. Iris, Fire Start, Frost Start for Andy. Afro, Crossbow Andy. You know, you know what I mean. Both taking one well. Iris already on the move for a fight. Will we see here a power well or units? Hmm. Nothing will be summoned here so far. Early to too, too strong. Meta, I have no idea actually. <laughs> So units, oh yeah, I forgot that you have the strikers. Ooh, the close well, both now on two wells, but here. Here we have the close one. That will be a funny fight here. As you know, I'm not good with names, not with pronouncing, not with remembering them. <laughs> now that you write it down, um, makes makes sense with the brook. Now that I see the Afro brook, yeah. <laughs> That didn't make that much damage, even that this an M unit. Interesting. Well, they might make it to kill the big chunky guy. While the S counter is doing his thing. Yeah, kinda. Kinda. Ice Shield Tower. Ha! Well, in this case, the close tower and the close well doesn't give that much of an advantage. But yeah, you're right. They're going ham on them and not making big progress here. He might even lose his scavenger. Okay, just in time. Close. Very close. So, but in the end, it was another power well here for the fire faction. Afro has to do a long, long walk to um, get his second power well. In the meantime, nothing changes here at this position. Besides, maybe an attack. Yeah, absolutely right. Fix that is some nice map control. Just to be sure, Trix, you are in your whole game, right? You're fighting Saviliel, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> Just, we, we don't want to have that um, tournament run forever. That's just want to be sure. And now we see the Raptor. Raptor S counter. 
Ooh, and they are strong M counters. If they get their rage running. And we see the bird. Nasty. Okay. Ephra has a nice combination over there. Nightcrawlers. Nasty. Mm. Ooh, we missed something here. There was a lot of damage on that power well. But now the annoying bird is up. Will he be able to defend this? Shielded unit. Nasty. Ooh, not, in, not enough. But with that, one, two or ar archer shots. One. When I, I, not one, I mean m more than one. But yeah, with Nightcrawler and Nasty. Mm, another Nightcrawler. That will be close with the repair. Yes, didn't make it. But he is now on low, a, low power. So he might be able to... Ah, okay. Like I said, these guys can stack their rage ability quite high. And with M as a perfect counter. Nasties. And now a unit to disable the repair. I think that should be enough. 98. 23. And kick. Nice comeback for this position. The power well paid off in the end. And it took a lot of charges in general and figuring out what cards the enemy is playing. Afro with a nice L flying counter here. Well, it's an XL flying counter, but a counter against the Sky Fedric, I mean. And Gladiatrix dazed, but doesn't matter. Damage is damage. On the hunt for the L unit, uh, M unit. Okay, more of the girls. Oh, they have quite the range. Healing spell. First one down. This looks like a good push here for Iris. Second girl out of the sky. And the bird survives. Oh no, he missed. He missed the heal. Oh no. That hurts. Oh, Afro has the cobalt trick. So it wasn't dangerous at all, kind of. Let's see. Do we get a tier 3? Or maybe in a power well? It's a power well, okay. Afro don't have any positioning for another power well. Placing the tower randomly here on the map to have a nice spot to shield his units. But well, looks like Iris is not interested in this tower uh, ice barrier okay maybe for uh, to eat the damage of the nasty surprise girl down and raptor down Ooh. 12 12 hp all you need, I guess. Another Tempest. Temp it's not Tempest, it's Templar. Ha! Have misread this. Peppy and Walt finished the fight. GG. Oh, you, you misclicked. It was Peppy who was winning. Okay, let me let me correct this. No problem. Oh, 
Oh, I think it's already fixed, right? Yeah, you fixed it. Oh, the range unit from the top. The stacked up um, damage here. Will be close. Okay, that will be killing the range unit. And this one unit here. Uh, I guess the next cobalt trick, yes. Still stacking up the damage here. Dragon still up. Two more of the range units. Big question how long can he out heal them? Wow, that heal. Yeah, nice cliffing. Yeah. But now the counter attack hits. Oh, we see some Lost Souls units. Reverence Doom just in time. Still units here on that orb. With the Reverence. Ah, where the repair went through. Hmm. Loud of groundwork. Will be the shield in time? No, won't. Reverence Doom is dying now. Are these S counters? Yeah, S counters. Yeah, at least you can't kill a bit. St oh, and then heal. Okay. So, in the end, Ever lost that power well, but took that position over here. Way safer spot. And tried an attack over there. Didn't end up, I guess. This map is so big and so much stuff is going on. Counter attack now here with the um, night crawler. And still on the cliffs. Erupting that girl. Mm. Yeah, that one's going down. <laughs> yeah, we see tier 3. Who needs charges if you can just tag? Maybe we can kill that power well here. This is not looking like a scary attack. Yeah, I think it's funny to see the the live PvP stuff on stream. How, how low charges go. Tier 3 also in the middle. Tier 3 L counters. They will shred through that guy. A reverence with shield. Another L counter set here. Mm, no, tier 3. Oh! <coughs> Sorry. And a nasty sealing the fate for the power well. But the volcano, very nice to see that. The ability of him is pretty scary and he is an awesome M counter. And the Brennock. Not sure if this will be enough. High shield, oh. Yeah, then you have to rack up quite some damage, but he is getting through the shield. The ability of the volcano is pretty strong. Ooh, killing the Brannock. Okay. Doing a fighting here. We have some bugs just running over the map. Guess this is the next scary spot. Ah, so close. 56. 
Volcano. Um, I can answer that. Yes. Um, you won with two points, and Samora with zero. Come on, load. Uh, with the repair and the healing, ice shield. Is that enough? Double volcano with the ability. Yes, should hold for the moment. Not a scary attack here. Let's focus on this one. It's he is just building, t uh, buying time. No freeze. It looks like no freeze. Wow. Brannock repair. Oink. Okay. Another set of volcanoes in the base. I think the orb is out of range. No, he is in range. Okay. Oh, light blade. Actually, good, good decision here. Just taking a new target. Oh, you killed the Brandok. What? What did he do? Damn it! I guess it was with the volcano. There was not a corpse, so no nasty. And Iris taking the first one. GG. Let's have a next one. Afro can decide the next map. Let's check the bracket. If I can type. Yeah, so Trix has to do his fighting too. Since he was watching the stream here. And we having here another round. We go Urmia. Spec. <clears throat> I got myself something to snack here. Mm. But only cashew can, eh? Cashew, cashew cores? How is it called in English? The banana shaped nuts. Um, so I really need something to eat in the evening. But at least something. <laughs> you know what I mean, Meta. I'm 100% sure. All right. Let's roll. So, totally con contrast on the map. We had this big map, and now we have a quite a small map. I risk fire start for us, start afro. For the final stage, um, we can have a look, but for the moment, Afro didn't lose a single matchup so far. Um, so this one might be the first since Iris won the last one. Best positioning probably at the moment for um, Afro. We will see after this one. So far, only economy game. Another well, another well. Mm. 
more units. Not sure if they're really going here hard. Yes, in total. Oh, I, I think he cancelled. I think he cancelled. It was not a destruction. Um, yes, in total we are having six matches. Every player has six matches. And then the best four players will enter in the final phase. Where it's just a normal tournament. Uh, Semi-final. And the, pl for the fight for the third place and the final. Let's see if Afro can pull something here out. It's tier 2 time. Okay, probably losing this position, but that is expensive. That power will only half. Not sure if he really can pull this off to kick this power well as a counter kick. Sigil in the base to buy time. Here too is up. But what now? Defending the base with Stonekin. Scary two L counters there. Already half dead. Poison Archer does. Poison Archer strong. He has to hit as many uh, units as possible. One misclick. Well, in the meantime, also attack on this orb. This is... Um, a repair comes out. Still scary here, still scary. Orb got the repair and keeps running for a bit longer. Sigil down. Now I'm going ham on the power well. Another repair. Guess this is defended, but this power well is not safe yet. Still having only tier 1 units around, but half at the power well. Keep in mind, he is able to repair with um, the Cobalt Trick. So a half that power well is not that big of a problem. Yeah, like this, for example. Charge. And, ooh, he made the kill here. Poison Archon. That is a good thing, I guess. <clears> he <throat> should be able to lower a lot of health out of these units. But keep on repairing the power wall is expensive. And another power wall down. Down to one power wall now for, um, for Afro. Running away from that unit. In the meantime, tier 2 time for Iris as well. This is now his window to kill one more power well, I guess. But even they are only tier 1, that was a half of the HP bar. So, Twilight. And... Oh, they just survived. Interesting. Was not expecting that. Ooh, that's a bit of greedy to have a bird against three um, storm singers. Okay, he will get at least one. Retreat in time. Retreat not in time. Next bird out. <clears throat> I 
Poison archers. That power, that orb is not looking good. Repair, yeah, repair. But will the second repair be in time? Nope, it won't. The rebuild of the power wall in the base, I oversaw this. GG is called and Iris taking the win. GG. The prediction. Win for Iris. Nice. So let us check the bracket real fast. Iris strong. So it's only tricks game. Let's um, figure out if they have another one where we can jump in. I guess they are still fighting. Almost done. Okay. Looks like we are nearly the, at the end of this stage as well. <laughs> Some, I just have to think about this meme. Sometimes the thing you need is only one thing. We can also change, change. Let's change the video. Let's have something more action. So while they are still fighting, we can figure out the last set of boosters, which will be army and the fire frost one. Okay, that's that's too much action. Let's 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 have let's have this one maybe. Um yeah, army and the fire frost one. I'm not sure if now at this point people really need cards. I think most have already made their deck quite perfect but possible that there is another cool addition to an already pretty good deck yes rewards only for people who are actually playing in an event um, i do not send out rewards to someone who is just um, sending an reply on an application and then not showing up there could be reasons of course i'm i'm not mad at people there can always something happen but yeah no rewards there so i can already make the next um match open since it will be on Irumia. We just have to wait for the last match of um, that set. Oh, wait. Huh? Afra's also fight. Wait. Did I not refresh? Oh! They are they are done. Why why is it not updating? Oh, they just finished. Okay, so we are proceeding to the second stage. Um. Dum -ti dum -ti dum. Let me just update. It's not updating. All right, they're not. Let's jump over to open some boosters. So you can also see your opponents now and we get ready to open some more boosters. Let me add you the last two. And then we have another set of games. One of the, um, not a mini booster. Where is it? Here. 
Ami. And one of the Fire Frost. Let's press refresh. And see what boosters are coming in. Ooh, okay, okay. We have at least the army paladin and the army phantom in a single booster here. That's strong. Also with the wind wheels in tier one. Magma Hurler, nice. Mo can be helpful. A Hurricane. Forsaken for Shadow players. We haven't seen a single Forsaken so far. Okay, let's do another refresh. You broke my web server here. Alright. Looking looking good. So, I guess we are jumping into a battle forge again and figuring out where we are wanting to have a watch. So, group phase, let me check the matchups. I can actually check them here. If it's now refreshing, please refresh. It's not refreshing. Give me a second. Hmm. Dum -de -dum. Now, refresh. It's 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 not working. Why? Now it's working. Eh. Well, okay. We could have a watch, which is a player we haven't seen this far. Um, not sure actually. I think we had everyone on stream, right? Well. At least, Aeson is, is, is interested in having a place in the stream here. Same with Walt. Yeah, I was not sure about um, Walt. If, if Walt was on stream before... Well, after we had seen now, we can go... Why not? Let's have Aeson and Peppy on on stream let's get peppy in there we didn't have you on stream you tricks afro you tricks afro okay why not come on let's do tricks afro if they are already fighting. Trix and Afro. Urmia. And then... Yeah, you know what? You you know the thing is doing the thing. Meta. Um, let's jump over into Battleforge. And everyone is ready, but I didn't make the prediction. Sorry. You have to you have to give me one more second. Um and we have tricks was Afro. And now we can start. Let me get my 
Windows in check. Shadow start Afro. And fire start tricks. Mm -hmm. How well for both? Nothing special so far. Okay, M counter and S counter for F row. S counter and M counter for tricks. Hmm. And I'm running out of liquid again. So we will have a short break after this end of the group phase. I mean, we are already nearly five hours live. The good old face tower. That were our times when this was meta. May we see the comeback today? If he has... Um, if Trix has archers, they can disable that thing. That would help. Hmm. Let's wait and see. Okay, attack is starting. Ooh, that was a nice nest to you. Whoa! And this is a fully charged set of witch claws. They can do nasty things to your power well. And in range? Not in range. Sad. Tier 2. What did I miss? Tier 2 and an attack here from Trix, but this is not working out. Trix is ready for tier 2 as well, but is going for the defense here first. And we see a real army deck with real army units. Still dancing around with the Witch Claws. Not using the ability yet. Yes, now is the time frame to go tier 2 into a Twilight combination. And closing in the gap to use the tower to attack the power well. Ooh, and he didn't make it. Oh, he make it he made it with one. Triple M counters here. And not using the ability. That is a dead unit now. Rooting them down. Slowed. Yes, slowed. But this is looking bad for the power well. <clears throat> A necessary counter kick since he lost the power well down there. I actually didn't know how. Ooh, okay. This is a unit that can deal with a tower. If he is able to survive. Nice heal. So at the moment, we are equal on wells. Only getting one. He is focusing the power well. The orb dealing now double damage since it just teleported. Not sure if he can push through that or power well here, but here probably yes. That's a lot of damage already. Looking strong for Afro so far. Trick's having a hard time. 
Losing that power well here. Down to one. And that in the base is also looking... Mm, questionably low. 570. Only two units left from Afro. But no recasts. And the repair. <laughs> yeah. He baited. I guess. Not sure if it was really close. I think he was just thinking, maybe, maybe I don't have to repair, maybe not. Yeah, at this point, plus one for Afro. And again, rebuilding the orb. So we are a bit back to square one. With a bit less energy for tricks. Afro for another power well? Yeah, for, for double power well. Last time I did this, Dutchie beat my ass. Let's see if Trix can unify this. Ravage. Ooh, focusing full on that power well. Both now on full ravage, now the oink. Okay. It's so sad. You have such a nice effect, like rage, and then they're oink, or they freeze, and then you have nothing. Mm, close, but not enough. Oh, maybe it will be enough. Mm, no. Repair is coming in. Ravage, uh, revenge is out. Run out. Rage. So many worlds with R. Rage is the one I search, right? It's rage. It's rage. GG called by tricks. First it goes to Afro. Let's have a second round. Where are we going? Trick's choice. On one hand, I say stay hydrated and then I eat salty nuts. Mm, large ash. Another small map. Let's see if there's a switch in their decks. Or maybe a switch in their strategy. It doesn't have to be the deck. Let's check the brackets. Nothing new over there. Okay, everyone is fighting. Tricks, fire, afro for us. Well time for both, I guess. Yeah, classic Lajesh start. What next? What next? Again, no one really interested in having a great fight here. Light blade abilities used, and with that, that nomad is snacked. 
here to over there. Again, the Twilight combination. And here, Stonekin combination. So nothing special new in the deck decision here. Another power well. Bit careful since you can um, shoot from the wall on the wells. The same, of course, for this side. They are mirrored after all. I say after all. Um, like this is normal. But I think before the Skylos Reborn team took over, the OG Battleforge maps in PvP were actually not mirrored. I think there were single exceptions where one position had an advantage over another one. Savielt is taking a win there. Congratulations. Okay. Okay, still some. I could still do some. Okay. <laughs> I think Avril is scared of the explosion which could happen. Ooh, run, my boys! Uh, as if they survived. Ooh! Nice backtracking for the heal. Ooh, breeding grounds. Okay. That might take a bit longer, that game. Maybe you can snipe it from down here with a range unit. Or just the power well. Afro is still in the nice position with the Cobalt trick, so he is in need of burst damage here. <clears throat> okay, that looks good for tricks, that fight. But an already a big army has built up here and double building. How much is it? It's only 30, so it's not binding too much energy. Poisoning some more units. And the Raptor. Hmm. Let's be careful here. Yeah, survives. Yes, survives. Or with a heal for sure. Another heal. Now let's see if we can figure out that burst damage. Not looking like it, to be honest. Even with a nice explosion there. Only half HP and the Cobalt Trick probably ready. Quite interesting. We are over five minutes in and both players played most cards only once. Ooh, like the side beams. New addition there. But yeah, side fiends against the um the range units there. Ooh, cobalt trick. Oh no, better than the cobalt trick is the sigil. Will it be enough damage though to cobalt trick now? Okay. The bouncer. Let's bounce some units. Let's 
actually not dealing too much damage, so... Nice heal. And the poison is stacking up over time. And even with the sigil on, um, on, on helping here... And Cobalt Trick. The big guy is getting his heal. <laughs> Another heal. I think that can go now for a bit longer than I was planning. There is a unit sniping over there. Oh, maybe getting the attention from the Siphons. Repair of oh, Sigil. Okay, the attention of the M unit. Interesting, okay. Oh, just in time for the repair. Will he make it? Yes, he will make it. Close defense here. Yeah, just just getting that that kill was important. Now sigil, yeah. Without the, the, the sigil, you can't do anything. But funny enough, he actually damaged the power uh, the orb halfway through. That was some power play. But actually, we didn't make any progress so far. <laughs> They burn through some charges, so. Mmm. Nice position to have a shielding building. <laughs> and we see the infect tower. Some poison. Not actually doing anything, just buying time here. Ice barrier, probably for healing. Wrecker. Now we see we have seen long and even games before, but this is quite the high skill level. Like um, this game has could have been done already with a bit of miscalculation, with a bit of misplacement, of bad splitting. Let's see if this tier three is going up. Tier three attempt here as well. Yes, tier three as well. Interesting with a tier 3. I was not thinking that we would see a tier 3 this at this point. But yeah, we are already 10 minutes in, I guess. Sure. Hmm. Fathom Lord here. Interesting. Yeah, now he's utilizing the breeding ground. With tier 3 units, they are quite expensive. Ooh, the Magma Hurler. Hildina would be uh, pleased to the see this. Perfect counter here against the Fathom Lord, but has to figure out how to defense, how the defense here works. Caprex taking the win against Peppy. Congratulations. Power well down. Well, no, no healing, right? The Fathom Lord is making the win in the top corner. Meantime, oh, that is an M counter by now. Okay, that is down. Fathom Lord still on the beating here. Alcanda, freaking Fathom Lord. <laughs> yeah, the ability is quite annoying. You can't kill him with a single unit. And Trix calls GG. With that, Avro Brook is taking the win. Congratulations. Predictions. 
for Afro. Well, let me fill that in uh, the sheet for you. Afro tricks safe. So last game open is from Iris. So we can see if we can jump into this one. In the meantime, let's jump over into the brackets. As you can see, only one game is left. He is saying if there is one more, so I guess it will be a maybe a 2-0 here out of that um, encounter. So let's wait for a second here so they can finish their match and then we are ready for the final phase of the tournament. The top three players will progress into the final stage and then it is a typical single elimination bracket. So semi-final, fight for the third place and then finals. Where is my window? There is my window. So yeah, current stage is looking like this. And we can also check out the standing. As I said before, Afro, only one loss. And um, Carifax also with one. Big White with two. And Iris with one so far. Um, yeah, probably since you are currently in the fifth position, I'm not sure if you can get the fourth position here somehow after the next of the match. It's Iris versus Orson. Maybe if he's winning, you could potential maybe somehow get up but i think that's not how swiss work so yeah well, let's wait what the um, algorithm will um, show us in a second let's wait till the game is over before we decide anything here <clears throat> yes, I think Swiss makes more fun for everyone because everyone um, has more games to play. So if you are new to PvP and you get your ass beaten because you are fighting against Tricks, Carefax or even Radical, that's not cool. But with that you get paired with people who are in an equal... Um, skill level after some rounds and then it's more fun i think that makes more sense for upcoming events i think i have to make that more clear in the forum post or in the start of the stream that you are not out after one match i think i i said this right did i uh, following a normal tournament best of four uh, Huh. Yeah, I, I think I was pretty sure I wrote somewhere that you are not out of the game immediately. Well, something to me to note down in fat letters and underline it in the next post. So people are aware of this. And of course, please play your matches as fast as possible so we can advance as soon as possible. 
I already have a nice idea for an upcoming tomb event. So probably not the next battle of tactics, but we will see. Well, a uh, single elimination is in the final phase, so it's the final thingy, the best of four players. Yeah, we will have this um, in a second there. But it's not actually a single elimination since we probably show the game for place number three. Just to be sure we figure out uh, the correct placements here. Alright. While they are still fighting here, I guess we can also make now a shorter break. Hello, moon. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we can do a short break so they don't get stressed there and we can, um, everyone get a buddy, a good stretch. <laughs> Hello, Juggernaut. <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone get. get Oh, it's already done. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Okay, Trix, we can now figure out your your placement. I like the moon. Okay. So, we are now in the final stage. And let me just refresh this page here. All right, the players for the semi-final is Iris versus the, the Big Wet and Afro versus Carifex. Before we are starting the match, we are having a short break, like five minutes. Um, let me just post this in the Discord. And also let me post this in in-game. All right. Single elimination or double elimination. Um, we it, it it's kind of single and double elimination since it is there a run for the third place. So the first match, the loser of the first match will go into the fight for the third place. Yes. So if you are not one of the um, four players, you are done um, with the event. Thank you very much for joining. And I hope I can see you in the Forge again, and maybe for some uh, PvP action, of course. And with that, short five minutes break, get something to drink, get something to eat, um, stretch your body, and you will see each other in a second.
Um, I would go for the off-stream variant. Um, I would love to show all, but I guess we are quite over time. I'm a bit depending here. Yeah, okay, your story. <laughs> um, yes. Asen, for your question, there is still a ranking. You can see that um, here. And you can see that your position is position number eight. It's from the Swiss. Yeah. Map, we start again from the rotation at the beginning. So the first round will be Haladur and then a loser's choice. And a second match is then a Simai. And with that, we can figure out which way we're watching. Um, we can go for Iris and the Big Wet and Afro and Carifex. I would join the ones who are ready to do their game now. Um, it looks like Iris is already opening the game, so... <laughs> we are do Afro and Caro new boosters. Well, I was thinking to give out new boosters at this point, um, but I haven't stated this in the rules, and I don't want to make rules up as we go. This is this is crap. So for the next event, I will probably go and throw out at this point like the new reburn booster or a mini booster or something like this. But, yeah. So we are looking Afro and Carol. Good. The chat has chosen. If all agree, we get two boosters. Um, let, let me just get this here. What do you think? And with that, let's start a prediction. So if you are interested to invest some uh, general points, you can uh, guess uh, your bet on Afro with this Caro Flex. Woo boom. <laughs> Well, they are talking about uh, boosters on the website and not on the server. Um, you can open so many boosters as you want on the test server, I guess. So, we saw Moon already. We saw Rogan already. We saw the Juggernaut and we saw the viridia so how about we are now summoning the magic crystal while we are waiting till they are ready and with that we are up for a nice round here. We are playing Haladur and Afro with a nature start, Carol with a fire start. Well and well, classic mirrors so far.
<clears throat> Just some dancing, I guess. A lot of dancing, I guess. And they are fighting. Triple Nomad. God getting out of the onslaught. More for body blocking. PvP happy hour. And... Okay. Running back with their nomads. Ah, okay. To block out the way, I guess. Oh, it's it's tearing up time. Blocking the position to get his own tier two, I guess. What what is Andy doing? Not welling up, not taking power wells. Now power well, okay. Onslaught of M counters. <clears throat> yes, we can disable this one. An oink. Ice shield tower. Oh, eruption. Still on tier one. Getting the shield? How much damage has the tower? 830. That's not bad. It's kind of a good forward base here. But Carefax has um, the archers who can disable towers if needed. He is more interested in his plus one power well so far. More archers. Big question, does Afro has um, a means of disabling the small units, like a hurricane or something like this? The poison from the archers can wreck through these um, fire archers. Give everyone one hit, and they go down. Killing down the Storm Singer. Uh, survives. And yeah, look at all these half dead units. Not sure if this is a good position now for Curve Effect. Using all his tier 1 stuff. Power will pay out in the end. Close well, okay. Now we have some aggression going on. Okay, Carfax has the energy here. Okay, the Raptor. That was a lot of damage, actually. Was it from the Raptor or was it just the damage from somewhere else? Oh, and then, then the shield. Focusing on the... How? Oh yeah, I forgot he got the repair. Okay, that will be hard to um, burst that down on tier one. It says bracket. Wait, what? what? You haven't seen anything. Oh, the eruption. Nice comeback. Will he be able to defend this? Ah, yeah. That will be hard. No repairs. He is probably low on HP and uh, on, on power. 
Enemy has three units running around. He needs to damage it from time to time, else... Yeah, okay, now it's going down. It, you are right, it is bracket, but I had a typo in the title of the stream, which no one has seen so far, and I have just fixed it, and no one will notice. And tier 2 time. Power well paid off. Yeah, the hit paid off barely. But... He is burning through his... We noticed... Yeah, it's okay. I'm, I'm allowed to do this. I just say this now and then it's fine. <laughs> Dyslexia for the win! So, we have Stonekin against the Twilight Hordes. And the Raptor will survive. That hurts. Okay, it will not survive. Got the hit on the... Yes, got the hit. Iris and Big Wet already finished their game. Wait, what? We are still in the first one here. You had some... Quick fights there. But still GG. Nice heal. Um, yes, you can check the um, your placement on the Chulon side. Just go to the bracket with a CK. <laughs> and then you find the placement. I think standing is the, is the name you're looking for. And there you find your positioning for this event. Back to the battle here. That life uh, ray of light is healing up quite nicely the units again bursting down a frost player with a repair skill can be a problem um you cannot see your rewards because i have to send them out by hand uh, aka no you can check the forum post what you will get, but not exactly what. Like if there is written you get a rare card, um, I have to figure out which cards I can send out. Yeah, I have a, a pool of cards from people who sharing cards um, where they don't know uh, don't need anymore Ooh, that was a close timing here that hurts another e not eruption range yet ha you say you are last place but we have people um dropping out so not sure if you really last place there. Yeah, and we have some random draws in there as well. <laughs> okay, eruption the the tunnel. That poison arch gameplay. I, I know why I don't like playing nature. There's just so much micromanagement, always changing targets. Um, those who dropped out, um, I mean, those who didn't play it at all, that is Killbuster and Brackman, they won't get anything. And apple sauce, I will add you again. Maybe I can do this at this point. Let me just 
Let's see if this is working. Oh, transformation. Transformation equals deals more damage and quite a lot. So let's see if this burst of damage... Okay, forget what I said. Nothing burst of damage. Mm. Apple. Okay. Ooh, this is close. No repair! Ah, okay. Yeah, I cannot add you at this point anymore. I will figure that out later. Was not aware that this is a thing. First time using the Swiss system here on the page. Yes, and I, I agree. I think you should be over uh, Simora. Tier 2 time. Oh, no, tier 3 time. Okay, now it's getting jazzy. Let's see if Carafax... Okay, he really likes this unit. Ooh, this ability of the, him. Okay, forgot the ability of him. Wait, what? Wait, what? People, people, what, what spell is this? <laughs> nice. We're seeing some new meta is born. Will he be able to out heal this damage? Ooh, third heal. Third heal. Oink. He has a battle going on here. Oh yeah, that is going down. And the ice shield building. Yeah, Apple is over um, Simora. Yeah. Another repair. Ooh, that hurt. Afro is taking that win there, and he's taking that orb there. This is looking hard for Carfax at this point. Renok on the move. We'll take a moment. He still has this tower dancing around. Maybe he gets this shield and then he is destroying it, maybe. Shield? Mm, no shield. Oh, shield. Shield. Tower destroyed. Ha! I am so good in predicting stuff. Big question. What is Carafax doing now? Just some poison over here. Okay. They are M counters, but probably have the best stats he has. Winking back. Is there a heal? Oh, Burst Ritual, and a GG is called by Carefax. First round is going to Afro. So Carefax decided, uh, decides the next round. So where are we going next? Um, looks like he has to restart his game.
Um, yeah, tricks for your points. Um, I think that's the Swiss system you won against harder opponents, and that's um, why you're ranked higher than the others. Um, I had to check this again to be sure. Um, let's wait for Carefax to come back online. Big wet, you're done. Um, no, there's a, pl uh, a run for the pl position three. So, big wet, you are playing against the one who is losing in this match here. But then, then. Yeah, don't, don't bother too much with the rankings. We, we will figure something out. No worries. Um, oh, sorry. I I'm not trade invite to group. Um, oh, I'm, I'm not the admin. I cannot invite. Invite, invite. Now I'm the boss. We go Urmia. All right. Let's keep on rolling, I guess. Halbfinale. Mm. Let me check. Where? Oh lol, it's called Halbfinale. <laughs> Let me check if I can um, change this on the web page. That's funny. <laughs> Too many links where you can um, access from a German um, site and an English speaking site. But this is nice, then that's a way to learn a German, I guess. Mm. Oh yeah, I can change this. Now we are having a semi-final. Yeah, I know, I know, Dachi. You are the one... The, you are the teacher I never had who is bullying me to learn uh, grammar. Oh, sorry, I, I don't want to say German is easy to learn. I would actually say German is one of the worst language you could learn. And Carifax, Nature Start, Fire Start for Afro. So far, no commitment for power wells or orbs. <laughs> I'm not sure if Rammstein is a good source of uh, German uh, speaking language learning experience, but you can try. No casualties so far, but Carefax with a higher investment in power 
in his units. Getting the nomads together to heal them up again. Yeah, he is committing to the tier 1 fight here. He is going double fire, so we might see a wildfire, we might see a lava field. That could hurt an army of, of nature units. But probably the healing spell already ready. Okay. Having the ranged units over there. And that power wall is going low. Orb here is going down. Double. Double uh, stalker. Another attack on the next wells. He has a lot of stuff still around. Not sure. Losing these two power wells. Oh, that that hurt. Not sure how he can recover from losing all his power wells. He has an army, yeah, but now every spell must be good calculated. And he still has uh, two nomads here in his base. Yeah, okay. This looks like a slaughter. Without the dryad. Ah, the heal. Maybe he can pull this off. Another nomad here for the healing powers. And now five. Yeah, five of the archers. Maybe. Maybe he can pull this off. Has to defend there at some point. Or it will be a base rush. And they treat bases. I think that's actually his plan. Oh, he's, he's thrown in a fire nomad here for more damage. So it is a base trade. He has to kick this position or he is done for it. Mm, time is ticking. But it will be in time. Afro is probably taking the middle position there. His time is also ticking. Yeah, okay. Base taken again. And in time. All is running smoothly. Yeah, absolutely. The That's the nice thing about Battleforge. Without the base building mechanic in the normally RTS games. Oh wait, we have now Shadow. What? We see a switch in colors. It's not actually um, only PvP if you ask me. I mean... If you look at the speedrunners doing PvE stuff, beating Bad Harvest in like two and a half minutes. Wait, what? <laughs> and rebuilding power wells for Carfax. Power for Afro. That was just a number. I I don't know the current speed run for uh, Bad Harvest. That was just throwing random numbers um, in the stream. But feel free to correct me what the current um, all-time speed run for bad harvest is <clears throat> okay yes that is a test server hex Mm, 
both are back on double power well. So thank you that you joined in the event. You, I'm I'm really happy that also new players join stuff like Tomb. Normally, Tomb is more something like for advanced players. Um, but how you how, how you learn stuff if you're not tried out? So thank you a lot for playing in this event with all the others here. It's so interesting how we switch from a nature fire tier 1 battle to a shadow fire tier 1 battle. Oh, that was the ability use of the witch claws. So we will see an explosion maybe. Ah, not enough. Yeah, maybe we can also figure out to have an, um, a rookie tournament again, stuff like this, to get more people into playing PvP. And don't worry, um, you had hard, hard players here. Um, I, I don't think I could win here against anyone from the other players they are all pretty skilled so don't be hard on yourself yeah i I'm, i have to test this with this uh, swiss system with a dropping in and dropping out um, maybe this is something more people would join in the event, maybe. If you, if you say we have a PvP tournament in a time frame from A to B, and if you are having time, jump in, and if you're not, jump out and in again. Maybe this is the thing we can try. And now with tier 2 double fire still, we see an approach to taking down that power well Carofax took in the meantime. I should focus more on the game actually. No charge? Charge. These are L counters, right? Yeah, these are L counters. Looks like... Carofax doesn't have a good M counter on tier 1. Oh. Uh, we had a PvP league before, but this is a lot of management and stuff. And for something like here, this event, it also was a lot of management on my end and a Metacross were helping too. Um, but by far not enough, um, as much as a, a league system. They are holding up quite good. Hmm. Not sure what Carefax's plan is. Holding up to hoard some more energy. Or using the ability of the Witch Claws again to... Oh, what a charge. Noise. And... Yeah, the Witch Claws are getting shredded. Hmm... Without a good M counter, this looking not too nice. Warlocks. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, they are range units and they are M and now he has a damage buff and can charge a 2 HP unit with that damage buff. More micromanagement. <laughs> How much is the damage buff? It's 25%. Ah, that's not so much. Okay. Oh, the lava field. That hurts. That attack is... Yeah, that's going nowhere, I guess. And at this point, it's another power well in the middle and another power well here. Staying on plus one. Actually, yes. Actually, good observation, Iris. Um, I think if Carifax were aware of the lava field, it probably would have played a bit differently. But on a map like um, this one, with all these choke spots, a lot of spells are quite good. And if you are checking he charges over there i think he is running out soon i don't know the exact numbers of charges for the shadow units i think it's 20 for the witch claws and 20 for the um yeah He is still holding up. And the warlock is going away. We are already 40 minutes in. But at this point, both are with four power wells here. So the game will get faster and maybe we will even see a tier 2 attempt from Carifax in a second. He still has to hold against this army but running out of charges will mean he won't hold up anything. Okay. Probably a lava field in a second, and oh, not even necessary. Yes. Power wall down! A bit too late for the lava field to um, kick the well, but not needed after all, I guess. Defender for the moment, I guess, maybe. Ah, he's getting away. Yes, he's getting away. Here, two, four, Carfax. He's running out of charges. And, oh, just buying the necessary time. Yeah, post it um, directly via Discord to him. That's easier than in the Discord chat. Now a big attack on both positions here. Tier 3 is now up, but I'm not sure if he can 
figure out a defense at this point. This one is going down without any support. Lava field here. Bur setting them on fire. Oh, the paladins. Okay. They are exactly what he needed against the enforcer. Still the problem. He has lost three powers. Coming back from this, that will be not challenging. There is a bird in the sky. And there's a lava field. I just saw this. That, that's rippers. That's also something you only see in, in tomb events. And now switching off the units. Damage reflection. But will it be enough? Now on cooldown. Uh, with the healing. Yes, with the healing. Will it be enough to kill that power well while also getting his power well in his base attack? He might be able to kill one. Will he be able to kick this and save? Yeah, forget about saving. This one is done. Back to zero power wells, but kicking also two. Big question, is there something else he can kick here? Mm, don't forget to, he has to defeat that unit there. Okay, attack stopped here. Range unit on the orb. See, this game is crazy. Yeah, he, like like switching the bases isn't. You don't see this too often. Rebuilding the power well. I'm not sure if this was too greedy. Tier three. Okay, I think Afro is wrapping it up at this point. Yeah, that was a power well that could have been built by me. This looks like an Ultra Lord strategy. And now with an XL unit, still against nature, sure, he can oink, but it's just buying time. Now, will he be able to kick it? Um, oh, the ability with the damage reflection. That's a good thing, but he has to be careful to not run in there with his Branarch. Okay, yeah, with that he can bounce stuff around. Okay, oink here. That means no oink here. But the Paladins. As long as he's not attacking them, then they are not threatening. And Carefax is calling GG's. What an insane game. Wow. Afrofax. Afro. Afroflex, yes. Well, they are still fighting. They, they call GG, but still fighting. So GG or not? GG. <laughs> and with that, Afro is taking the win here. Progressing to the winner's round. So we are having now, let me update this. Afro was 
Caro Afro winning with two. And with that, we are now in the finals with Arias and with Afro. And the next round will start on Simai. Of course, the place for um, position three, Carefax and Big Wacked, you can start your games as well. Let me just clarify this in chat. Give me a second. All right. Another set of games. Let me just have the predictions running for Iris and Afro. Whoop, whoop, and game time. I just see the numbers. 23 um, of the Shadow L counters were played by Carefax. <laughs> so many! Simai, Firestar Iris, and Frostar Afro. Not taking the well here for the second. Okay, no one is committing. Okay, no one is committing. People are betting. Yeah, I, I hope so. Strikers. And of course, we have some anti S counters. <laughs> Nightmare land. You you're telling me you're also from the Netherlands. Well, just be happy. Gambling is bad. So Dachi is 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 feeling your pain. Majora is feeling your pain. Tier 2 from Iris. Not interested in a crazy round here. In the meantime, tier 2 position in the middle. Or bursting that down. Tier 2 position in the middle. Frost into... Fire. Okay. Double bird. They're quite squishy here. Ooh, expensive bird. Right? Yeah, 60. Not too expensive. The match for the third place won't be on the stream. They are doing it right now. Um, if this match is being faster than their match, we can jump over and watch that. But since we are already over six hours live, we um, wrap things up here. Okay, the big bird and the small bird. Yeah, with a bird, he should be able to kill them. Gladiatrix on the move. What is here? What, what is the plan with these two archers? Okay, attack move on the left. Units for the central. Returning to the center. 
archers are also getting involved. Um, that bird should be dying. Yes. These are M sized, yeah, M sized. And again, another raptor. I've seen a lot of them today. Maybe they're not as bad as I was thinking. Hmm. Not sure what I'm seeing here. The lava field cleaning up. Okay, 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 okay. And now the counter attack. Nothing summoned so far. Okay, burro. Interesting choice. No M counter, no S counter. Actually, he's getting his burro handed to him. That was a bit excessive, but will do the job. Healing up his units. Yes, healing up. No power wells. Already five minutes in. Oh no. This is looking bad. Nice save. Will be there a connecting blow of some kind? No, just retreat and heal up. And another bird. It's an M counter, so... Whoa! Two-shotting that thing. And... Nice kill. Let's be careful. Yeah, okay. The heal was uh, pretty necessary there. Sniping out one unit. New bird for Afro. Ice Shield Tower. Now we are talking about Fire Frost gameplay. Shielded Drakes. Um, the beginning of every nightmare. Ah, uh, a three unit combination. Oh, that bird is not looking good. Yeah. This attack, oh, not too bad. And focusing the well while in the meantime, Iris getting his well and his base also handed. Will this be a trade? Yeah, probably. Yeah, first one is down in the base right. And now the base left lost a well as well. But defended. Right base still having to deal with the last units, but they are as good as done. <clears throat> the problem stays the same. Oh, instant rebuild here for Iris. Rebuild in the middle. So, just a trade, I guess. Shielded Drakes, nice. Just lost something and cannot find. Well, we'll figure out something. Drake is running away. This shield is running out in a second. Ooh, he got the snipe. And now running away from the gladiatrix. Gladiatrix in need of three shots if you cannot connect with eruption. Like this.
So we just see some trading around, but keep in mind, Iris decided on the power well here in the base, so he has only one position to defend there for the wells. Will this be enough? Attack on the right. Mm, not too fancy. Rooting down. Oh, interesting um, numbers. Okay, is is that is that a common common um, rule? Like you say, around hundred energy equals ten. A uh, hundred swore equals ten uh, energy. Okay, I understand what you mean. Interesting. But I think it's also a bit of a problem if you have a power world plus, then your score mechanism is not working anymore. But for equal power worlds, um, it makes sense, yeah. Speaking of power worlds, that is one down for uh, Afro. And Carifax is winning against Big Wet with 0 to 2. Okay, that was a fast set of rounds. 10 minutes, 2 games. They had a quick... Um, uh, Heavy tier 1 fight, I guess. But with that, Carifax, congratulations to your third place. And of course, Big Wet for your fourth place. Counterattack in the base of Iris. Mm, will it be enough to kick a power well? But also getting the attack on the right side here. Yeah, okay, that looks defended. That's the problem with um, low power well games. Low power games without the well. Healing up the Drake, still having the building here around. That can be um, a fatal. We have seen this on stream. Closing in that uh, unit. And power will taken in the middle, power will taken bottom left. We are back again to two power worlds. Shielded Drake. How much is the shield? Oh, using the disenchant to remove the shield. To then kill the Drake with... Ooh. But it was cheaper than using an eruption, actually. But now he has a problem of three M counters, which really hates Drakes. Let's see if he can push through. Problem with the range units, you can just run away. Okay, we have a buck over there. Shielded units coming back. Oh, nice route. Just getting the hit on the unit to... Um, oh, that power wall is looking bad. One more. Yes. 
Nice lava field. That's that's the hard decisions you have to make. Do I wait for more energy to cast a lava field with over 100 power? Or do I summon other unit which can instantly deal damage? Yeah, it, um, I had some chat with other people about the bots, the event, um, the bot programming event. Why it's so hard, like stuff like this. When do you decide to cast a spell or um, wait for a unit or the other way around? That's pretty hard to decide for a human. How should a computer do this? You can try this on hard facts, calculate it, but yeah, sorry, um, not going to happen. Um, let him learn with an AI, maybe. Iris calling GG, first around is going to Afro. That was a very hard fight. Uh, it has it could have gone gone in both direction. If you look at the spawns, like what cards they have um, spawned in this round, um. Yeah, I would have st uh, um, estimated other cards. But yeah, Storm Singers, that is what I was expecting. People like to play Storm Singers. We go to Urmia for the next round. Yeah, and on the machine learning thing, uh, it's quite hard to get an AI running and let him learn about Battleforge gameplay. We are talking about millions of games till there is something useful in there. Hi, and they are joining here at Carefax to spectate him by himself. Um, it's, it's one thing figuring out the decisions you want to make, but also to implement them. Um, I'm by far not the good developer to f do C++ on this level. Um, that also has high performance. So if you're looking at my bot at the moment, there is a lot of stuff. I think... Cubic would throw that thing out of the window if he would take a closer look. Well, there are different um, approaches for the AI stuff. But about the PvP we are seeing here on hand, we have again the fire start from Irius. And Afro with plus one at the moment in his games is at the Frost camping at the tier two position. And yes, I'm doing it in a C plus since my usual programming language is called Progress. But no one is coding in progress, and this results in uh, me trying to out trying to use another language. And I guess C++ is something I used in the past. Well, the bot has an event, has a mini tournament at the end of every month, so. You maybe want to put some time in there till the end of the month, and then you can fight my firebot. We see tier two from the fire into the nature, frost into shadow. Frost into shadow. We haven't seen that before from Afro, right?
and the happy hour ended. That's fine. We are still in our finals dear game. At the moment, both with plus one. It is a beautiful game. When I do stuff for video editing and you have other um, angles on the units, it's even more beautiful, actually. I mean, we all play this map from this perspective, but if you turn it around, it's a totally different game. And it's so confusing to look at the map from this angle. I, You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's weird. Something is, is strange, but I can't tell you what it is. Maybe it's the shadow? Like, the shadows, you used to have the shadows to the back and not to the front. But, yeah. Welcome to a new game called Battleforge Miro Mode. Well, it's not Miro, it's, it's just spin. It's Battleforge 180. Let's not be confused here and just... Oh, we missed another snipe of a, of, um, a Tempest. Templar. Templar. I have to learn names. Yeah, probably, probably. At this point, we're having quite the power well rush. We have a double well here, double well here, so... Iris with two, uh, uh, four additional wells, and at the moment Afro only with three, so plus one for the fire player. Well, it's it's a twilight prayer, um, actually. And from the other stuff here, yeah, we don't see any lost souls so far, but. Frost into Shadow has other strong points. Don't see any Shadow actually so far. What is his a Shadow plan? Oh, nice heal, just in time. Sniping out one of the um, Storm Singers. And here we go. Okay. And the Infect Tower. Drake is an M counter, so not the best choice here. But damage is damage after all. Towers up, and with that, the middle position is quite secure for him. I mean, this tower has a hundred, a thousand four hundred damage. Not to undress it. Still having plus one for Iris. Be careful here with his Drake. A lot of L counters here trying their best to kill the... And they made it. Drake is losing the fight. Drake is getting the heal. And... Drake is getting the kill. Oh, the Storm Singer sniped. Another Drake, another shot. Okay, the girl is down. The Drake here probably won't make it. Nope. Okay, power well on half HP. He will get out of daze. He... No, that was a good one. But with a switched Nightcrawler. Yeah, okay. Oinking. And now repairing. And everyone is happy. In the meantime, we see a power well built here. So that's the equalizer in welds that is repaired. So it was just a bit of around, I don't know. Maybe, maybe 50 power, maybe a hundred plus for Iris.
Plus one again for Iris in the middle. We already had six Storm Singers so far. Like I said, people like their Storm Singers. And Tem Templa. Be careful. I always want to say Tempest. Securing the tier 3 position over there. Also doing a, another attack on the right position. Oh, I was not aware you can siege over that lake. Huh, I think Iris has a good position now. That's probably why he decided to use uh, this map as his map choice. Killing the girl. Ah, close. In the meantime, losing that power well. Yeah, that is that is lost. But he might be able just in time. One power well down. That is chilling here. Um the Storm Singer. Damage is not enough. Afro with a repair. And in the meantime, he decided to defend here, but that will be a close one. I don't think he can save that power well. Nasty? Yes, nasty. And with that being one behind in power wells, investing a lot of energy in that push. The power wells paid off, so that's not too big of a deal but yeah let's give the window for tier 3 into another frost orb double frost so we probably see some tremors and I think he had the ice shield building thingy Okay, doing a repair of the well. <laughs> and the first ram is out. Let's see how he... Still first map. No, that is the second one. The first one went to Afro. And now Afro is on tier 3. Yeah, he cannot damage them. And here he will get that down. Oh, I forgot about the tier 2 specialist, uh, tier 3 special here. Volcano. Maybe we can see now the tables turn. We have an excellent L counter here with the drones. And we have the volcano. And here we have Brannock marching his way. We also have an XL counter with a Swamp Drake. Not only XL counter, it's a lot of damage potential with 1000 damage. Ooh, ignoring that? Yeah, ignoring that for the moment. Oh, nasty. Breakdown. <laughs> okay, double double flaming on the power wells while Brennock is killing power wells. This is now yes, taking one power uh, one orb out of the game. Brennock is going ham on the second one. Is ignore is not ignoring the Drake. Okay, still fighting against that orb. Going for the orb again here. Oink. Trying to kill the Drake. Drones trying to finish the job there. And Iris is going for power walls, I guess. Hiding away the units. And... Yeah, Volcano disarming the unit. Losing tier 2 for Iris. 
This is another power kicked. Swarm Drake is still up. Sadly, not killing something here. So, Afro still with four power wells in addition to the starting wells. I was only with one. We have a lot of half death stuff here. No, no, close. Yeah, okay. Triple eruption. <laughs> Not perfect, but... Oh, Brynok is still alive. Damn it. That's looking now... Brim, but he has got his tier 3 back and Afro not. So it's just a matter of pulling through, I guess. Branok, that, that hurts that this XL unit is still, a lot, still around. And okay, he used the ability on the flyer. That is interesting. Oh yeah, the volcano and, and the ability itself. Like, look at this ability crushing the power wells. And nice sleep hitting both units. One power well down. Now going over to the orb. In the meantime, getting an attack from Branagh at his tier 2 position. Probably now trying to get as much out of the tier 2, uh, tier 3 as possible before losing that. Oh, he used the oink to buy time. Another volcano. Double volcano. Using the ability. Brannock did his job well. So we killed two power well here. Iris got this one. Let's see. He is now back at the orb. Using. He, he really dislikes this flying Drake. Orb is going down. Tier 1 for Afro. Now he has to figure out how what to do against Brannock. Kill these two. Our worlds looking good so far. That is his only XL count, I guess. So he has to be careful to not lose it. Also on the move to get another tier two. Volcano is still running strong, and Brennock is down. Heal, yes, heal. Sleeping. Tier two retry here from Afro. In the meantime, Volcanoes on the move to the main base. Yeah, they are so hard in shredding through M units. And these are L counters, right? No, they are M counters. Oh yeah, that's a lot of multi-target damage here. For burst damage, not ideal, but for base like this, look at this. Everything is going down equally. <laughs> Drake on the tier 2 position. Yeah, I think, I think Iris put it, uh, pulled it off. Closing the gap here. No power wells left, no orb left. GG! And with that it is a 1-1. One, one. And we are now at the tiebreaker last match. It is again Urmia. Noise. Let's see. I think he is not willing to let this game slip again. So, are you hyped, people? Are you are you ready for some more Battle Forge?
It's best of three. I um, decided that we do best of three for all matches. Um, other tournaments did the best of five in the last round. It's best of three in this one. Best of three for all matches. You see, people had difficulties to read my rules even now when I change rules like in the final we have best of five then people had to read more so nature fire let's see not going for wealth going for units afro pulling back undazed units in the base Not sure what spells Afro had. Did he have a hurricane? I'm not sure. Dancing around the cliff there. Three M counters. Or three swift units. And this is the fun thing about Tomb. People, if you play against nature, you can be pretty sure he has a hurricane. If you play Tomb, you can just say maybe he has an hurricane and maybe he does not it's a bit of a, a gamble here as well i mean he has quite the strong archer army if there is a hurricane that would be a problem okay tier two iris within the moment with powell and tier two And we see the attack in the base. Oh, uh, that slipped my uh, view there. But if there's a hurricane, you probably want to have it. <whistles> nice. I just want to say maybe an, an, an heal, but that was a good reaction there. Perfectly timed. But also, if there was a heal, um, Afro totally was on point with not clicking um if that was me i would have healed the nothing with my spell and would be down with 70 power ever still behind in one power well this one is still up and running not repaired yet unit is on the way now it's repaired okay so he should find a nice spot to get a one uh, of his power wells as well. Or figure out how to um, get one kicked. Uh, the root and the wink. And more storm singers. No power, still no power. Well, he has already seven, 70 out of this. That's giving him a good lead. First birds and the air. Double storm singer. And the poison archers. If you get the hit on the drake. Nope, he won't. And he's still running around with the three archers there. They are binding the energy on tier one. So it's, I wouldn't say just off of them or just um, kill them yourself, but use them for sure. So let's see what the plan is.
Don't underestimate uh, an army of archers here. Ooh, yeah. Don't underestimate the Stonekin Tempest. Attack by a single Stormsinger here and uh, half that Stormsinger there. Won't go anywhere. Now it's power wall time. At this point, yes, Iris is already having the plus symbol and is taking a plus one again. Repaired? Healed up? Um, not yet. So, Gladiatrix. So, I think the best thing here is a good split. One shot. And sniping out the unit out of the sky. Poison archers are down. And they don't make it. Well, so far it's not the best trade he, he did. Hmm. Just falling back here for the moment, I guess. And the raptor. We actually haven't seen any tier 4 in this event. Which is which is fine. I mean, that is a sign that we had enough boosters that you can finish maps on tier 3. There was some tomb tournaments where people went up to tier, uh, tier 4 because there was so much stuff in their deck which was not good. Will he get the kill on the tower? I don't think so, no. And one sniped. And now a shielded Stonekin Tampers in front of your base. That is a, a hard position to fight in. Nice heal. With that, the Drake goes down. And this unit is not allowed to go close to him. Else he will be disabled and then, yeah, probably die. Sadly, not in time with the Oink. And another shield is coming up. Still, Iris is with the plus one and it's paid off in a second. So, the longer the fight goes, it is in his favor. But if you ask me, I think after having the better traits, disabling the unit, nice. Uh, let's be careful still. To not lose his nice disabling unit there. Nice heal in. And an oik out. The heal. And now the counter push. And the Infect Tower may be a bit slow. Okay, with the, with the root, that should be in time. In the meantime, we see building up some units here at the top. Maybe double, double attack, double pressure. Also running units on the left side. Oh yeah, we see some multi shenanigans now. Grabbing that uh, unit out of the sky. An oink. It's a bit interesting that he decided to go this position. I mean, here he had his shielded tower at least helping a bit. But maybe he will utilize it later again. Ch 
just healing. Keep on healing. Keep the dream alive. So many storm singers already. Eleven have been played. Ten oings on Iris side. Shielded tower. Finding energy, but killing this one in the meantime. Counter attack from Iris. Focusing the orb. Okay. That's a bit greedy. You think you can push the orb while also there's attack in your base? You think a base exchange? Maybe. Maybe possible. At least Afro is not willing to lose that position here so easily. Now on a single frost orb. He is focusing on the welds. I hope for him he has something on tier 1. Uh, uh, as a frost card. Well, or he can probably kick that base um, either way. As long as there's damage on the orb, he is not able to repair it. So keep the pressure running. Okay. Disabling the range units. Fighting back at this position. Shield the tower. No, he just um, pressured this down. He's now on a nature or base exchange. Rebuild orb over here. Rebuild orb over there. So, yeah. Big difference. We are again in a low energy game. And. And this time it's looking a bit better for Iris since he has the plus one well. This well is probably defended. Uh, who knows? Maybe he can kick him. Got a heal probably in time. Nice eruption. Okay, forgot about the heal. And we have still have some units and the building over there. Getting ready for our pressure attack on the left side. Threading through the units here. Sadly, the Storm Singer made it. Just killed the one unit. Um, these units will need support if he wants to win this. Looks like he's giving that up and focusing on this to attack here. Taking a power well. And so we are back on the equal level. Still having that tower in the base. Not sure if it will... Oh, that is a tier 3 attempt. Okay, there is a lot of stuff going on in front of his face. But we saw how easy that volcano can turn the table. So let's wait and see if we see the volcano. Tier, two, tier 3 ready. No unit yet. Thunderstorm. Okay. Strong card against tier 2. Still in range. Still in range. Still okay. They made it out alive. That one unit. By the way, it's Vulcan, not Volcano. Oh, okay, thank you. Vulcan, Volcano was the building, right? 
Yeah, naming in Battleforge cards, sorry. Vulcan. So... What else do we see on tier 3? I mean, as we said, we are on low power, but... The plan looks like drones. A lot of drones. We we'll have to defend here. Low HP here. Another set of drones over there. Yeah, they are dead. Okay, and now we have the Vulcan. <laughs> he is an M unit killer. Crazy. And let's see how he can deal with an M unit. Ooh. That is disabling him. That's not nice for, for Vulcan. Volcano. Vulcan. Vulcan. Now I'm more mixed up than before. Defending the middle position. Ah, he's getting away. Vulcan. Killing the rest here. That, as that's an M counter. Wow. Right position, another Vulcan. Well, uh, nice route, just in time. Last power position here for Afro. Disabling this unit here. Buying some time. This power is dropping lower. Let's be careful maneuvering here. He's not hitting the M unit. That's sad, but okay. Power is going down. M unit dying soon ish. And the orb over there. Just getting the repair and the disable effect of the uh, Muller. And GG is called! With that, Iris taking the win of the Battle of Tactics number 7. GG's. Let me just in and enter that in the score. <laughs>